Hello. I'm I'm back. It's me, Aresia. <laughs> hey Neo, how you doing? <laughs> we're back and uh, we're definitely starting this uh, only run for the first time. <laughs> how how you doing? Um, we've fixed the issues with the mods. I think I solved the problem. Um, it turns out the stuff did generate properly on the previous seed, but uh, the seed name itself was what changed. That was that was the bug. It was affecting the seed name. I had a look around in sandbox and in debug mode and confirmed that was indeed the case. But <laughs> we messed around so much, I felt justified in restarting anyways. So we're going to restart. Um, I found an interesting map for it. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump in. I'm actually a little bit prepared today. Oh no, you've got COVID. Oh, that sucks. Did you did you have COVID a while ago? I, I, th I think I've talked. I think I've talked to a few people who have had COVID. But yeah, rest definitely rest up. It was rough when I had it. Did you did you test yourself? Yeah, man, it's it's rough and it varies a lot. Like I, I like quite a few of my colleagues have got it, and some of them um, were fine mostly, and then some of them have still got long-term symptoms. So I hope I wish you the best of luck uh, with your symptoms. Right, let's do this. So found a pretty good seed, very similar to the last one. And this time, we're going to do the settings properly. We did this properly last time, but <laughs> the seed description uh, seed description bugged. And we're also going to set teleporters off and care packages off. Because the whole point of today's challenge run is we're going to try and do one dupe per planet and we're going to try and get rockets going as soon as possible. Just to mix things up from my normal oxygen not included play style of having a big base, lots of dupes. And just doing it on one planet. I really want to explore the rocket stuff. I really want to explore the new story trait stuff added with the Sweet Dreams update. And yeah, just do something a bit different than normal. <laughs> right, so here's the seed. You can see it has a C on the end, which means both story traits are activated. This CSK04 bit means that teleporters and care packages have been turned off. And here's the traits we've got. So we've got a Lush Core. Fairly, fairly standard, nothing too out of the ordinary. But the main thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to pick a seed that had an aluminium volcano somewhere. Because aluminium is really useful for things. <laughs> that was the only real thing I was looking for. But yes, I, I've, I've actually got all of my mods enabled because I determined that the mods weren't causing any issues with the story traits. It was just the seed name bug. Once the map generates, it should be fine. And I've actually got a preset of the dupes that I'm going to bring in. And I'll explain I'll explain the dupes quickly. So I'm using the duplicate settings manager mod. And that just lets me customize the starting dupes. I could do the same thing by just re-rolling all of the dupes. But um, it would just take a lot of time. <laughs> We're not playing reroll simulator, so I'm just going to load what I I got earlier. So, as we're doing one dupe per planet, having everyone be a loner is a really good idea. First, solitary pursuits. And they get a plus four bonus to all attributes when they're the only dupe in a world. We're going to start with three. We're going to try and move them to the other planets with rockets as soon as possible. And then I also just wanted to pick everyone with lots of interests so they can get the maximum amount of morale. Because uh, eventually everyone's going to need to be skilled with more or less everything if they're running a planet on their own. Um, I think. We've got some pretty good starting bonuses for the actual attributes, which I think will make a difference. Uh, and we're going <laughs> to name this colony the newest Swanky Friends. <laughs> There we go. And we can start. So we did get true tiles to work. So I'm quite excited. We got all of our normal mods working. 
Yeah, here we go. So I exit it. As you can see, the seed code is the same as what we generated it with. So no bug. I'm going to save it just to make sure that we're okay. And I did a little check just to make sure it was working properly. And one of the story traits is on this planet. So we should be able to find it fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Just usual sort of stuff. Um, because everyone's eventually going to go on their own planet, I'm going to set attacking, life support, and toggling all to very high. Because I don't want any of these to be missed if we need them to be done. Also, our planet is named Kurdista. <laughs> That's a bit of a, a sus name. That's fine. Um, and then in terms of interests, everyone's going to prioritize what they're interested in at the moment. So that seems good. Researching. <laughs> Rocketry probably doesn't really matter. And then farming, cooking, and ranching for Ellie. Although you're not skilled in any of these things yet, so you're just going to run around and do stuff. Yeah, I do like the True Tiles mod. The sedimentary uh, tiles actually look really good. Although I don't usually use sedimentary tiles for things, but we probably will today. Um, let's see. Schedule. Gonna start with two downtime and one bedtime, and then we're gonna increase the bedtime and downtime as we go. Because there's only gonna be one dupe per planet as soon as possible, we need to make sure that dupes never get exhausted, because if they're exhausted, that really sort of just stops them from doing stuff during the day. It's not good. And yeah, let's just get in here. So yeah, we'll dig this out. Dig all of this out. There's our little bit of sand here and here. And we'll just get the pitch pump. I think the water always generates like this on this uh, metallic swampy asteroid. You always get a little pocket of six tiles. It's actually really just four tiles. These ones are almost empty. we we'll put a little ladder here. And then it looks like we can dig across to this area without having any issues. So let's just dig this all out. That should be fine. Interesting that this one tile generates a sandstone. Got some polluted water down here as well, that's fine. There's a lot of polluted water around. We'll probably want to drain that as soon as possible. And we've got plug slugs in these two rooms. That's fine. So because we're not going to have a lot of dupes, we're going to we're going to keep it fairly uh, low key with the base. We're not going to plan out massive access chutes and everything. Uh, this bit doesn't really need a door, so I think we're just going to have the ladder go down here. We'll just try and collect all this polluted water together. We'll try and drain this all in here and just slowly drain it all down here. I think. But yes, everything is working today. I, I I think I fixed TTS. The TTS bot is back in back in chat. Uh, so it should work again. It's because I changed my username. It kind of forgot that I was on this new username. Where to put the bathrooms? Probably just here. So we'll tile this. I'm going to replace that tile. That's already annoying me. <laughs> This should be enough room. We're just going to have one bathroom. Everyone will have time to use it eventually. We are going to need some metal. There is metal up here. Is there any more easily accessible metal? There is metal over here. I'd rather not let all this polluted water out, but we may have to grab some quickly. I think that's probably quicker. Let's just do this. Yeah, it's funny because I got a cold two weeks ago and I'm still feeling a little bit run down. Everyone's got a cold at the moment. Yeah, let's try and grab that metal. I don't think any of this should collapse. It's the mud we've got to worry about. We don't want to let any mud or polluted mud loose. 
yeah, that should be a little bit just to get started because we want to make some doors to separate these uh, rooms off. But yeah, you guys are actually fairly quick at doing stuff. Just getting a few little extra attribute points at the start is making a difference for this challenge. But you, you'll really kick in once you get on your own planets and you get the, the, the loner trait. So we have actually disabled the teleporters. So we will have to rock it to get the dupes anywhere. Okay, you guys are pretty much finished now, so... There's the metal. I think we just dig this up because it releases the oxygen at the same rate. Yeah, so now we can deconstruct these. Bathrooms first, then bedrooms. Uh, so we can do that. We'll need to tile across here. And I'm doing the doors here just to encourage airflow. Like, you, you'd obviously have one door just for access and to make it a room, but I put the second one in just so the air can flow a bit more easily. Also, Ren, you're going to get cold doing that. Move up here. I don't want anyone getting hypothermia if I can avoid it. We're going to have a low amount of dupes, and I just want to get stuff started efficiently, so I'm going to do a little bit of micromanaging. No, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Let's put it here. I think we're generally not going to have people go through that area very much. No. What am I doing? Our house. There we go. We're leaving a little gap here, because eventually we're going to have a light here. But for now, we're going to leave this as like a dead end, um, and we're just going to let the water flow through here. We're going to need some bedrooms as well. We've still got half a cycle left, pretty much. Where am I going to put those? I could just put those up here for now. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll dig these out. We'll dig this whole... Oh, we can't dig this whole bit because of all the mud. Right, that's not going to work. Where are we going to put these bedrooms? We could fit them up here. We could just let this pollute of water down here and then put the bedrooms here. That might make more sense. Yeah, let's do that. So we don't need the ladder for now. Let's just uh, dig this out. Really? Oh, that's fossil. Well, that shouldn't cause any issues. We'll dig out this little bit, and then we'll put a door here. And then we'll dig the tiles here, just to get this water down here. Oh, we're actually uh, running out of things to do. Uh, you can dig this as well. You guys really are out of stuff to do. <laughs> But yeah, the other reason I'm doing this one dupes uh, per planet challenge is because I want to try things on higher speeds a bit more. Like when I have less, when I have more dupes, the game runs a lot slower and you have more resources. So I tend to run on speed one, but I want to break out of that habit. <laughs> Actually, hold on. There's some uh, nice glitching we got there. We'll just let the water out like this and then we can grab the swamp chard. Put all the food in here. So we can dig this out as well. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Is there any other food we want to immediately grab? I mean, we can grab all of this stuff. But I think we mostly just want to tile this bit. We can tile this. 
and then we just have the beds. And no one will trap themselves. <laughs> Definitely not. Probably seal this off as well. I think we have time. Yeah, you haven't got hypothermia. You're just... Uh... Let's actually move you up here. I don't want you to catch anything. Because we're doing a lot of building at the moment. Yes, I've got the whole week off. So I've got plenty of time to, for Oni this week. There we go. So we've got our three beds. We've got our, our bathroom. We've got a pitch pump for some water. We're going to try and get clean water in here. But I think most of the clean water in this map is down here. So that's probably not going to work too well. All right. So that's pretty good going. I guess we could start putting research stuff in. So we're going to have our research stuff here. We will want to expand. I think we just want to start uh, lowering this water. I think we dig all of this out if we can. Oh, you need to do this. That's the one thing you need to do so that we actually have a complete bar, uh, bedroom. Got a latrine here. Actually, this still counts as a barracks even without the door. That's kind of funny. <laughs> It's a small enough gap. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, we want to grab all of this stuff. Yeah. People are right. There are no hatches on this map to start with. On a lot of maps, when you dig to the left, you'll immediately find a hatch, even if it's a map that wouldn't normally have hatches. But Metallic Swampy Asteroid, that's definitely not the case. Yeah, we need to dump all this uh, loose of water. We could dump it all down here. The only issue with that is the slime. Let's see. There's not too much germ. There's not too many germs over here. So I think what we do is we just do it like this. People are gonna. People are gonna get so cold doing that. <laughs> but we just need a way to drain all the pollutants of water. We need to dig this too. If people are just digging, it's fine for them to get hypothermia. So we'll just give them nothing but digging related errands and then they'll be okay. Because <laughs> hypothermia slows down like science, uh, construction, that sort of stuff. But it doesn't slow down digging. It's not very nice, but I don't think there's a real... Uh, humane way of starting the met uh, metallic swampy asteroid or just these spelchy places in general because you're gonna have a yucky lungs you're gonna have polluted water everywhere and you're just gonna you're just gonna munch your swamp chard up here <laughs> well i guess it's out of the water so that's that's a plus you're gonna have it sitting on top of the ladder perfect then ellie are you gonna come join him no you're gonna go to lee okay that's fine but we've got everything we need to start. Got a latrine, we got barracks. There's no annoying shine bugs giving everyone the light. So we're okay. We do want to put a light in here, but we'll need to do some research for that first. And to be honest, I'm going to mostly just do digging tomorrow, and then we'll do start research on day three when no one's got hypothermia. See, Ren's got hypothermia now. But what does it actually do? It gives you minus five science, minus five machinery, minus five construction, minus five cuisine. So if you're not researching and you're not building, hypothermia isn't a problem. But if you are, it is. And it usually, how long does it usually last for? Like 0 0.3 cycles? Oh, you got a little bit of blue of water there. That's unfortunate. Please don't get all cold in bed. That wouldn't be very uh, cash money. Yeah, everyone made it to bed on time. They also sneeze a little bit, but it's not enough to really get in the way of what they're doing. So if we're just digging today, we'll just grab all of this stuff. We'll grab as much Swamp Child as possible and put it in there. You don't need to disinfect this. 
And then I guess it makes sense to go up here as well. And let this all out. You just want to collect all of this water together in one place. I don't think there's really a neat position where we can empty this. Although we could just do a ladder. It's fine. Yeah, hopefully we don't trap anyone. One thing about this one dupe per planet challenge is, is when we have one dupe on each planet, if someone gets entombed, they are doomed. <laughs> they won't be able to free themselves unless we rocket someone over. So they're going to have some uh, real issues. Uh, they're probably going to die. So we need to make sure that when we're doing our errands, it's not the case. Yeah, let, let all that water out. And what I could actually do is I could leave that one there. And then I can dig up here. And then we can let all this stuff out. And then if we do that, then the water will still flow through here. But then we can't actually... Yeah. No, then we can't actually get up there, can we? Hmm. If we do that, then we can get up there. Yeah, that seems good. I'm just going to micromanage this a little bit just to start. Just to get rid of all this water. And then we'll uh, speed up a little bit. So yeah, now you can climb up here onto this to get up here. And we're just going to want to let all of this water out. We might as well just grab all these plants while we're here. Everyone will get hypothermia today, but it won't matter because no one will be doing anything other than digging. <laughs> these poor guys. You're going to cure yourself of hypothermia and then you're immediately going to catch it again. Also, you are going to trap yourselves up here. So we need to let you out this way. Like this. That's fine. And then all of this water will end up going into here. Uh, it looks like a geyser over here. I'm not sure what this is. But yeah, you, you, you do start really close to the geysers when you're uh, on one of these smaller asteroid clusters. Let's just check there's no slime over here. Yeah, there's no slime over here. <laughs> We're not dealing with the slime lung today. Oh, you can't actually get down from here. Oh, whatever. Just dig this. That's fine. Yeah, so long as we're actually not actually digging up the slime, that's fine. I mean, this slime isn't too germy anyways. But yeah, all the water <laughs> will now drain in here. That is the intent. Are you guys now idle? Uh, why are you idle? Oh, because uh, mud has fallen down here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, and then we can release all of this as well. So this whole bit is just going to fill with the polluted water. I just want to clear some actual space and just actually grab all of the resources. Okay. Is there actually anything else to do? You guys should be able to get up here. I guess for now you'll dig this out just because uh, you're waiting for this person to finish. I hope you can actually get through this area of polluted water without uh, suffering. There is a lot of it. Yeah, people should be able to get up here now. I'm going to speed it up. 
Oh no, Ruby's still over here hanging out. Should probably just put a ladder in. No, you can get through here. We don't need a ladder yet. I just need to give you an errand that isn't just doing that. Uh, we can dig this out as well. That's fine. Yeah, we'll speed to it now. We'll just get all this digging done today, then everyone will go to sleep. The hypothermia will wear off, and then we can build everything else. And then hopefully we'll actually just have some decent area to actually do stuff with. Uh, we will need to dig that out as well. We might as well dig all of this. We got a Paku. There's loads of Paku here. Eventually we'll want to connect this water up, probably. But this will do for now, just getting it out of the way. Yeah, you guys are getting most of this done. Uh, so then the last thing to do is just grab all this metal here. So we might as well just go and go and grab everything. Yeah, that'll do. None of you have hypothermia at the moment anyways. That's fine. Just want a nice stock half of building stuff. There's a good chunk of it here. Cobalt's pretty good. It does it's nothing special, but it gets the job done. And then by the time everyone's asleep tomorrow, but by the time everyone wakes up tomorrow, we can just sweep up the rest of this and then no one's gonna get cold hanging out in this area. Uh, you still need to get over there. Release this. I think at this point, instead of doing that, we just... Uh... Actually, no, we'll just build a ladder. We'll just build one ladder. I'll do. These slime tiles don't actually have any uh, germs on them. Do I remove those? Could remove all of this. Yeah, that's fine. That'll give a little extra space. I right, just want to get all this water in one place as soon as possible. Obviously, all the polluted dirt and mud is going to keep off gassing forever, so we're always going to have some polluted uh, air in here. But I don't think that's too bad. Like, one thing about this map I didn't realize until last time uh, is, that, <laughs> is that there isn't a lot of sand. Uh, you start with a very small amount near you, but uh, there's really not a lot on this asteroid. And there's no saltwater geysers. They can't spawn on this asteroid. So the only sand you can actually get is the sand that you get from the rock crusher. Um, so... We don't want to spend it just deodorizing a lot of stuff. And I think this is just about working out from a, a germ perspective. I'm tempted to put each of the dupes on a different schedule, but it's probably not necessary. Yeah, that's enough digging for today. So most of the map is dug out now. I don't think anyone else is going to get hypothermia. Because the amount of liquid here is now low enough, it's not going to chill the dupes out. So I feel fairly confident just building stuff today. No one's going to be building anything with hypothermia. Yeah, go to the toilet. So, let's extend this ladder up here. I don't know exactly how we're going to get into space. You're going to still dig all this out. 
Yeah, there's a lot of water here that isn't actually moving. And then we can tile this. And I think we'll just put the power stuff up here for now. Is that actually draining out? It is draining out, just slowly. Hoping this will sort of equalize. I could probably just uh, dig this out as well to... Well, that's not going to help. Now we've released all this water as well. Yeah, let's put the research station here. Then... Probably just manual generator up here. Battery here. Just go like this. And then the supercomputer is going to go here. When we uh, unlock that. Yeah, we can dig all of this out as well. I'm, yeah, I'm hoping people won't be getting hypothermia because the amount of polluted water on the ground is going to be so low now. I don't really want to sweep it up at the moment. Oh, it's spilling here now. Oh, because we're replacing these tiles. Okay, let's set those tiles to priority one. Do you want any polluted water where they're actually hanging out? So we'll tile that later. Once this area is sort of swept. And obviously we don't want any uh, polluted water going in here. This is the clean water for research. There's a bit more we could drop in from up there. What I'm actually tempted to do is to tile over here and then just slowly let this water out into here. More clean water down here as well. There's a lot of thimble reed. So that's good. I think what we'll do is we'll just try and use up the polluted water by turning it into thimble reeds. We'll have a thimble reed and we'll farm and we'll just use it to consume all this polluted water. Because oxygen wise we're going to be fine because we're not going to have a huge amount of dupes. Yeah that's done. You're running on the wheel. <laughs> we should have built the battery first but whatever. You're getting a little bit of exercise. And then, when all this digging is done, we can just uh, sweep this up. Might as well dig this all out as well. Soon. Soon you won't be standing in piles of water. <laughs> right, I think we can speed to it now. The important part, there's no polluted water in, in this bit. We'll dig that out, we'll dig this out, and then that will go down here. And then it should be pretty quick sweeping this all up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, okay. Yeah. I think now we're at the point where we need to sweep this. I guess we don't really need to tile this. The tiles do give a run speed bonus. Um, of 25%, so it is worth tiling places that dupes will frequently be. I'm not sure what else we'll put up here. We'll probably put, like, the rock crusher and stuff here, because we're going to need that fairly soon. Might as well sweep all this up as well. Right, we're actually running out of things to do now. So let's actually queue up research. We're going to want a mess hall. We're always going to want a mess hall. Yeah, the police dirt is actually uh, <laughs> exploding as well. Or rather, it's uh, finishing off gassing. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just tile this. And then we'll just dig this so that no one leaves the bathroom this way. I think the mess hall will go here. 
and then we'll put the water sieve and stuff in the bathroom down here. All right, what do we got in the printing pod? So, uh, we've turned off, we've turned off uh, care packages as part of the challenge rules. Yikes! So, <laughs> we're not going to be using this unless we uh, find a loner dupe. There's uh, one dupe per planet. I don't think it makes sense to pick anyone who's not a loner, and we're not going to want extra dupes. We already have too many dupes. We need to rocket launch some of them away. So uh, we're going to reject all, sadly, and we're going to be pressing this button a lot. <laughs> feels feels bad, man. We're going to make do with what we got. We're doing a we're doing a difficult challenge. Although we haven't actually increased the the difficulty. Like they're all still breathing the normal amount of oxygen. They're all still eating the normal amount of calories. But logistically, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, Ren's doing the research. He's a smarty pants. I really like how these sedimentary rock tiles look. The only issue is that granite A gives decor, and B is much better for holding liquids in it. Um, so it is technically better to replace everything with granite, but that's kind of lame. So, whatever. So, what else do we actually have to do at the moment? Probably not a lot. We could keep grabbing all this metal. We do need to explore space. So we should probably try and find the best way out of here. So we'll just keep going up here. <laughs> I haven't really planned this for fire poles. Maybe eventually we'll move this all one tile to the left and we'll do fire poles. Or this will be where the fire pole is. I don't know. At least in the wheel. Uh, plug slugs, getting them online would be a good idea so we didn't have people running in the wheels. The only issue is uh, we don't want to let them into the rest of the base. So I think what we do is we make this the plug slug room. We seal it off. And then we dig everything out of here. Yeah, we can let all the plug slugs into this room fairly easily. And then they can power everything. So this wire will go down here. That's fine. These guys got buffed quite a lot. They eat refined metals now, as well as regular metals, so you can feed them from volcanoes, i.e. forever. Um, and they also produce more power when they're hungry. So, I think it is going to be worth just keeping them in a room. Especially to start with, because the less dupes have to run on the wheel, the better. And then we can come in here and grab the uh, bog bucket stuff as well. Let's cancel that. We'll dig down here. We we'll want a storage bin for metals. Let's put that here. I mean, eventually we're going to want a jumbo battery, but we're going to put batteries and stuff in here. So we'll leave that for now. But yeah, I'm thinking this is where we're going to put the mess hall. Not sure whether this is going to be the actual access shaft or not, like the main one. I mean, this is where we've got our pitcher pump, so we're probably not going to want to do it here for now. But there's not a huge amount of water that's going to end up going in here. I don't know, we can keep finishing stuff off. And connect all of this up. Then uh, remove this. Yeah, that's not bad. And then... This is probably going to be the eventual... Well, I mean, there's water here. I think what I do for now is I just tile across here, and then we let the water down here. And we let that out as we need it to do more research. But we're going to need advanced research for that anyways. It's speed two time. I need to make sure I don't leave it on speed one all the time when there really isn't a huge amount to do. 
We're going to have just these three dupes for a while, unless I find another loner. I am going to hire loners if they arrive, but we'll rocket them away as soon as possible. Uh, someone's all journey. Maybe we need more than one sink. I was hoping we could get away with just one sink. Yeah, we'll be fine. Food poisoning is not too bad anyways. And the reason we got the research lab here is because the printing pod produces light and the light gives you the lit workspace bonus, which is 15%, which is not bad. It's most useful for tasks that don't use skills because you're never going to get any extra modifiers on them, but it's useful anyways. I mean, you could put a bathroom right next to the printing pod just to flex, but <laughs> that seems a bit odd because people are going to be coming out of the printing pod into the bathroom. Yeah, we're going to put uh, metals in here. I mean, specifically cobalt, and we're going to do sweep only because we want to make sure the plug slugs don't eat uh, unless we want them to eat. And I think we lower the priority on this. We get this stuff done first. We're slowly getting all the food stuff. You know what, I'm going to move this over one tile preemptively because I think we are eventually going to put a fire pole in here. Just priority nine all of this. It's not like we care about any of the polluted stuff off gassing, so we can just leave it here. I think we're past that point on this map. Yeah, let's speed to it again. No, no need to speed one it for now. Everyone's just doing the things. And eventually we'll put the fire pole here. It is going to be important to make sure the dupes can move around effectively when they're running an entire planet by themselves. So it would be silly not to do this. There we go. Ren is very happy. Congratulations, you moved the bathroom one meter to the left. Good job. Yeah, this thing does use a little bit of power. Not a huge amount. But it would be good to get the plug slugs up. That should definitely be the next uh, priority. Let's actually... Priority 7 this stuff. Already three this. I'm trying to make sure that I'm using the priorities well as as well. We'll sweep all this polluted water once uh, we dug this out. Actually, yeah, we'll sweep it once uh, we dug all of this out. Really, more hypothermia. Oh, that's annoying. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be enough liquid to do that. Right, let's see. Mess tables. They've added a kitchen room to this, uh, this game now, so that'll be interesting to try out. So we're going to put the three mess tables in here. Just uh, speed on this for now. This probably doesn't... Yeah, let's make this priority 9. This needs doing as well. So, furniture. Best table. And we'll want a ration box for the food, because they're mostly just going to be living off swamp chard for a long time. And then we'll eventually put the water cooler here. 
And we'll have plants and stuff as well. Because we'll make it a great hall. But for now, let's just do this. And then we can remove this ladder. I'm sorry, Ellie. I didn't expect that you'd get hypothermia at this point. At least this gives everyone somewhere proper to sit again. And uh, we can dig this out as well. So that we can build the ceiling. And this can be set to edibles. Priority 9. We want all the food in here so they're not running back and forth with food. I think... I, have they been doing a good job with that so far? Not really. I think I've mostly just been leaving Swamp Chard where it is. So they'll go around and grab all the Swamp Chard as well and put it in here, but that's a good idea. Yeah, not going too badly. Let's sweep this all up as well. We don't want polluted water there. There's a little bit over here. There isn't any over here, is there? No. That's good. Yeah, have some food. There we go. Everyone's eating their sandwiches. Although uh, Ellie is uh, wanting to do something else. We'll eventually need to give everyone uh, more downtime or bedtime as the base gets bigger, but we won't need to do that yet. <laughs> Ren's just like, what do I do? There's nothing to do. <laughs> Should I wear a hat? <laughs> You don't have any skill points for hats yet. You're uh, you're all working on it. Hey fungus, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're on the metallic swampy asteroid because I'm I'm going to do I'm doing a spaced out run. Um, we restarted from uh, <laughs> last time because last time there were some issues with the seed and the story traits, but we fixed all of those issues and. Now we're confident that the story traits are loaded properly with all of our mods and that nothing's broken. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's certainly got its challenges. I mean, obviously everywhere's polluted, so they're, they're breathing the oxygen faster than normal. But there's also a lot of oxygen just because all of this is off-gassing. So it's kind of a win-win. Or it's kind of neutral, I guess. Um, the polluted water everywhere is annoying. It is going to be slow. I'm very prepared for it to be uh, speed 3 mania at some point. But that's fine. I really just wanted it to be a change of pace from my last playthrough. We we are still going to continue the 400 dupes challenge attempt. But um, I wanted a bit of a break from it. But we're going to go back to it because I should be able to load that map with the new update without any issues. What's everyone doing now? Where are you? Oh, you're just grabbing the food. Okay, that's fine. You probably will get hypothermia from hanging around in here too long, so don't go uh, crazy. Yeah, getting the mess hall finished. There's not a lot of labor, so I'm not researching anything at the moment. <laughs> hey, Krim. Um, 400 dupes to one dupe, man, that's an overcorrection. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I had a poll up for a while about what people wanted to see next, and lots of people wanted to see me try one dupe per planet. And I wanted to try it too. <laughs> but yeah, um, I actually did a video explaining my plan for doing, um, for supporting 400 dupes on a planet. It's mostly involving oil wells and sour gas boiling. But we are going to go back to that at some point, because I think that's actually the next thing to do, is to start making the sour gas boilers. Um, and Presumably do a bit of space exploration to get, like, sort of niobium and tungsten, because we're going to need thermium aqua tuners for everything. Uh, just on normal. This isn't max difficulty. I thought I disabled disinfect on this. Oh, I moved it. That's fine. Some germy, uh, polluted water. That's fine. I'm not going to bother dumping polluted water anywhere. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually played on uh, the, the sort of max difficulty settings yet. The main difficulty of this playthrough is just going to be logistics, like actually getting everything done. Like the next thing we're trying to do at the moment is 
Actually, yeah, plug slugs. That's the next thing we want to do so that people aren't running on the wheel. I just thought, like, this challenge, I see, like, a whole different... Uh, whole different side of the game than normal because instead of building massive builds it's just trying to get each dupe working as efficiently as possible so there's going to be a lot of scheduling a lot of uh, probably micromanagement but the first thing we need to do is get the dupes off the planet as soon as possible so everything we're doing at the moment is just trying to gear up to doing probably some carbon dioxide rockets I don't think there's anything else we can use for rockets immediately I'm sure we'll find uh, some CO2 somewhere. The planet does have a lush core, so we should be able to we should be able to burn some lumber to do that. <laughs> yeah, normally there's a teleporter you could use. However, um, as part of the challenge, we've disabled the teleporters and the care packages. Please don't entomb yourself. What are you doing? You're just hanging out. You're actually out of sedimentary rock. I, I hope not. I'm going to tell you to start digging all this stuff up, just in case you're uh, idle. No, you actually are doing stuff. Surely to be sustainable, all you need is a quarter of Rodriguez, 10 wild lettuce, and some food storage. Yeah, pretty much. So the challenge of being sustainable is not being sustainable. It's The challenge is actually just getting everything done in a tidy manner. Because we're going to have so few dupes. We'll see what geysers we have as well. Uh, once we grab hard digging, we can have a look at this. Yeah, I think it's time to go back to research. So let's let's grab advanced research. It's fairly straightforward. <laughs> For today's cycle, Ren is going to build a single installation. <laughs> hmm. Right, we swept up all the water here. So let's uh, dig this out like we planned. We're gonna we're gonna let we're gonna let the plug slugs into this room and we're gonna trap them. Um, we're gonna tile this up and we're eventually just gonna tile this here. I want to extend this wire over here, but we should be we should be powered by plug slugs uh, for a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed they can't drown. On the last playthrough, I was really worried about, um... I was really worried about the plug slugs drowning, because we uh, trapped one, the only one on the map, in like a little hole. And it was full of water. Because <laughs> I was demolishing the whole map, and then I, I noticed there's a plug slug. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they won't drown anymore. Which is good. I'm not going to fill in the bottom, I'm just going to get rid of all this polluted dirt. We'll let these guys out. Uh, let's just set construction priority back to five again. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to grab these guys too. So... We could just do this. And that should work. And then we can grab all this... Uh, well, we'll grab the metal that we can grab without the ceiling collapsing in on us. That seems sensible. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is Moonlit. We're doing the moonlit start, so because we're metallic swampy, these should be the four other moonlets of like the the harder spaced out. So we should be able to get to them all with CO2 rockets. That being said, I haven't used a CO2 rocket in a while, so who knows? Right, <laughs> inspect the data bank. Got to do that. Then the skills. So we need hard digging. We also need advanced research. So what I did last time is I did advanced research first, and then we just gave our builder digging, because they'll need it eventually. And I think I'm going to do that again. Because the constraint at the moment is going to be research. So there you go, Ren, you get your hat. And I remember not even doing anything and they were drowning themselves. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good change. And I'm very much looking forward to the, uh... Oh, right, we need to start sweeping up some of this metal. I mean, eventually we're going to door them in. Actually, I think all the metal is just down here. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Yeah, grab that, please. 
speed to it a little bit. Yeah, CO2 is three out and three back, but most of these are going to be one-way trips to planets. They're going to refuel at the planets. We'll need to figure out how to get CO2 everywhere, but I mean, it should be fine. Yeah, Ruby's got a skill point now, so instead of building, we're going to give them digging. Because we just need digging to be done first. So now we can actually remove the fossil. I don't think there's a reason to keep this like this. I think we will actually make this a proper height room. You can strut this. We have some proper doors here. Yeah, plug slugs are in there. So the plug slug, the plug slugs should all eventually end up in here because they actually wander over here now to the wire when they're sleepy. So then we can build a door and let them in. And that should be our power sorted. So I'm going to lower this to 10% now. We don't really want people running on, on uh, the generator. And we'll just need to build a big battery bank to hold all this power. Because the plug slugs generate um, 400 watts each, but only for a few hours of the day. So we're going to need a lot of storage. It's only good for a return trip and planet toys are directly next to each other. Yep, like this. Yep. Um, so this is more enough. Doesn't need to come right. Trailblazer dumping. Let's go. Yeah, I haven't actually used the trailblazer module yet, so that should be fun. <laughs> And, and now, how, how am I going to land on Flipped? I have no idea. The Flipped one is fairly nearby. I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be lots of shenanigans and stupid decisions being made. <laughs> because I really haven't done much uh, of the actual spaced out stuff at all. So, uh, yeah. Each slug makes 30 kilowatt kilojoules per cycle. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's deal with this. Oh. Dig, dig the mud, please. So we'll put that in there. Uh, we'll just ladder across this for now. I guess we'll expand it out this way as well. I think it probably makes sense. Then we can pour more water in there a bit more easily. Cool. Well, the research is going. Uh, so let's do the water cooler and go over here. And then we'll put the supercomputer here. We do still need to do this. And we do actually need to build some batteries. Uh, so, the batteries are just going to go in here. We're going to want the jumbo batteries before we do that, because we don't want to heat everything up too much. Yeah, I already like how this is going more than I, I did the previous run. I mean, I didn't really want to restart the previous run, but there was a lot of ambiguity about whether the story traits actually spawned um, because of mods. So I thought at that point it was just worth doing a fresh, a fresh try. Actually, you know what makes more sense than this? We dig this out. We can tile this up. Preemptively. Like this. Sorry, this is probably just being a bit fiddly at the moment. But if we're going to have our water actually end up being dumped in here, then I just want this to be correct, and I don't want any of the water to mix. We've got so few dupes, I feel like I should probably just micromanage stuff. But I promise I'm not going to keep it on speed one for too long. <laughs> Usually the speed one merchant. Right, we've got a skill point. Immediately switches to speed one. <laughs> yeah, so farming, ranching, cooking. We're going to take you to ranching, because... We're probably going to want to wrangle guys at some point.
Like last time we ended up wrangling the plug slugs, but I don't think we're going to need to this time because they're all down here and they just sh should just head to the wire. I think we trapped them very effectively. But I don't think there's any other plug slugs around. See, this is where the teleporter would be, but it's been removed. Someone's stolen the teleporter. Uh, so no dice. Yeah, please do that dig. Yeah, slowly grabbing all this cobalt. Yeah, I'm going to want to grab that as well eventually, but I'm not super fussed at the moment. We've got enough cobalt for most things. And then we can just tile this up slowly. And then we can just dig this out. Actually, you know what? Don't bother with this. It's fine. Yeah. So you've dug that out. Um, you might as well dig the plant as well. Got a bug bucket here. I think what I'll actually do is... I'll do this. And then we'll open this door. And then the slugs will wander in here at night. And then we'll close it. And then we can... Then when that's done, we can actually seal this up and we can just put batteries here. Yeah, we'll put batteries here and then we'll just make like a ladder. Yeah, that seems reasonable. <laughs> This printing pod is going to be so anticlimactic unless we find a, um, a loner. Feels bad. Because we're not going to take any dupes if they're not loners. And we're not going to... We disabled care packages, so... Fun. So we're not going to get anything from care packages. We have to find everything ourselves. Which should be fine, because we're going to have so few mouths to feed. Uh, you're not trapped, are you? No, you're okay. You, you just like to slug into a little spot. It's okay. There we go. Well, it looks like we're almost done on this. I'll start pouring this water in once we run out here. Yeah, hopefully the plug slugs will go in here today. And then once we've got advanced research... Yeah, there we go. So now I can build the supercomputer. It's just going to go over here. And now we're just going to research jumbo batteries, just so that we can put the batteries in for the plug slugs. And then we should be able to get rid of this. In fact, we should be able to get rid of all of this. I like this. This is turning out pretty uh, cleanly, I think. I'm kind of tempted to put everyone on their own schedule. Just so that the bathroom... Uh, people don't end up spreading germs from bathroom stuff. But, I mean, at the moment they're okay, and it's not like it's going to get any worse. Maybe we'll be okay. The telescope. So, I have a question. So the planets are three tiles away. Which telescope... Uh, can If we use the enclosed telescope, does that have enough range to scan all of this? Can we scan all of this with the regular telescope? Because I've not actually tried it. Yeah, there we go, supercomputer. You haven't quite made it in the room. You can actually get in there. Well, two will do for now. But we'll keep this door open, and they should just keep one ring in here. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I feel like you're probably going to need an extra downtime slot now to make it to bed on time. We do want a light to go in here. Now that we've got power, we should start getting lights for these rooms. 
Yeah, so you're all going to bed, so that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So, bedtime's a bit weird for me. I like giving dupes one bedtime slot if they can, because that stops them from oversleeping when their stamina is at 100%. But, obviously, if they miss that one bedtime slot, they get exhausted, and it's really bad. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do two bedtime slots just to make sure that they don't get exhausted. Because if they get exhausted, they're the only dupe on a planet. That's gonna be really bad. We can build this ladder here as well. We'll probably move the pitcher pump and then put like a regular pump here or something. I don't know. Extra digging. That's nice. You know what I could do? I could get the critter sensor, or like a... Yeah, I could get the critter sensor and have this door open look like a one-way door. I'm, I'm trying to think of how you make a one-way door for critters, but it's probably not worth doing. Actually, they're all there, aren't they? Toggle this immediately. We're done. No! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, never mind. We were so close. I don't know, they're also they're also close. Maybe maybe we'll luck out. So we can let I mean how much water is this? I think we can let all of this water in. So let's uh let's sweep this up. We'll put a little uh we'll put a little tile here. Actually, I'll put a tile here. We'll dig this up. Okay. They're actually okay. Let's try and lock this again. Very quickly, before they notice. Come on. No. <laughs> Dude, slugs. Yeah, we'll let this water through here. Uh, we're going to have to sleep, sweep it up in the bedroom, but that's fine. we got more stuff. So we've got the jumbo batteries. Let's put those in here. Three. I, d I haven't done the maths, but I think three will be okay. Because they're 40 kilo kilojoules each. Um... Prim suggests that the slugs produce 30 kilojoules per cycle, so four slugs, three batteries, seems to be the right ratio. And then we can just dig this out and let... Because this is about 5,000 kilograms, so that should be fine. We'll let that out here. And then we can actually let the rest of this out when we uh, want to. Everyone's getting more skill, that's good. Oh, we're obviously going to need to connect these to the wire. It's fine. I'm not really worried about decor, if I'm being honest. I think we'll be okay for now. Right, let's watch this. I, uh... <laughs> I should have put an extra tile here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Well, we're going to grab this water eventually anyways. That was not exactly what I wanted to do. That's going to take a while to go over here. I guess people are going to be sleeping in the cold until then. It's, uh, it's not ideal. We've already got an egg. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sure whether we needed an egg or not. Okay, that doesn't need to be yellow there. Why did I think that one tile would have been enough? Because the, the, the actual amount of water would have overflowed. I only think we let a little bit in though. But most of it should still be going in here. 
Anyways, research. We are going to want... What's the next thing we're going to want? We're going to want the lights. We're going to want... And then we're going to want the rock crusher. We can run the lights without automation for now. Because we're going to have so much excess power from these plug slugs. Eventually. Let's deconstruct this. You're still going up here. Uh, you can grab all this uh, metal as well. This shouldn't cause any problems. This is mud. Uh, let's be careful with that. Well, we can grab all of this metal anyways. That's fine. Actually, let's uh, let's do the list. Let's add stuff to the list. So that we actually got an idea of how many resources we have. We have a little bit of algae, but I'm not gonna... I'm not really gonna think about algae. That seems fine. I'm gonna want the store seeds somewhere. Definitely. <laughs> You're gonna be running on that for a while. Actually, yeah, maybe we should just disable this. Yeah, you can you can stop running. people aren't going to get too cold in bed. I guess we'll see. That's enough water for more research. Keep exploring up here. This seems like a decent route to space. We'll have to let all the polluted water out again. We're actually going to have to... We can let it out down here as well. That seems reasonable. Let's, uh, let's do that. We just build a ladder here. I should let this all down here without any slime issues. And then we can release this water down here very, very carefully. Yeah, we've got three plug slugs in here now. It's still producing 400. Even though they're cramped, that's good. Yeah, once we've got these filled, we're not going to need this again. So now we can uh, deconstruct this. Although, we'll, le uh, we'll leave this wire here because we'll have the rock crusher and stuff here. Yeah, everyone seems to be mostly doing stuff okay. I think it's about time that we give everyone another downtime slot. Just so that they can get everything done faster. Like, they've all just about made it to bed tonight, but the longer they have to travel, the less I want, the, the less likely it is they're going to make it to bed on time. But hopefully they don't just wake up with hypothermia. I've noticed that this game is kind of weird when it comes to like loading uh, and loading saves. Like dupes will get hypothermia based on their immediate temperature rather than like how long they've been in, in there. So usually when I reload a save, like the dupes will just all have hypothermia and it'll be really bad. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, water in here, so we'll wait until this drains completely before we open this up. But yeah, things seem to be coming together. Now, are you going to be good or not? I think you're going to be good. But these ones are going to come down here and be naughty. <laughs> Eventually, we'll catch all four of them in here. And we'll close it. Right. We're going to want... Um, 
like a ceiling plant in here, I think. I don't want to make this room any bigger. We don't need the Great Horn Morale yet. So the question is... I think we do artistic expression. Uh, we could do that to get the Great Hall going. I think I'm more concerned about lights. We have the lights. Yeah, I think we just do Rock Crusher next. Yeah, we'll just put the lights in for now and we'll automate them later because we have excess power at the moment. Yeah, I like this. This one light will cover everything in here. Obviously, we don't need a light in the bedroom. Yeah, so that works quite well there. Then... I guess we'll just go up through here. I deconstructed... <laughs> I deconstructed everything except the wire I wanted to deconstruct. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> oh well. We'll be fine. But yeah, having the light in the bathroom is good, because then the dupes will go to the bathroom 15% faster. Um, and having the light here is good, because they'll eat 15% faster. Which is weird, because it's not a task with a yellow bar. But normally when a dupe eats, they'll eat 30,000 calories per cycle while they're eating at a table. But you have a light here, and they'll eat 34,500 calories per cycle. <laughs> um, so you do want to light your messels, and then they'll spend less time eating. And this will all help them uh, get to bed on time. I think we could sweep all this up now. So let's do that for now, just so that uh, people aren't about getting wet in bed. Yikes. Uh, and then bottle empty. I guess we'll just put a bottle empty here for now. And then we can just dump water in there, but that's going to be like a low priority thing. But yeah, when you're sweeping, you really want two people to do it at once if you've got a large amount of liquid. Because if you're just one person, the liquid's going to keep flowing into the tile, and then they're going to keep sweeping up small amounts of liquid. Whereas if you have two or more, then eventually it will stop, and they'll move on to the next tile. Maybe we need three people on this. Let's get everyone uh, cleaning this. So once you've got three, it starts being cleaned up fast enough that it stops flowing. And then they'll actually get it all done. Like the constraint isn't the amount they can clean up, but it's just the flowing liquid. So it's usually worth doing. Uh, I believe that's all the metal out of here. Uh, we can grab that as well, but I'm not too fussed about that. We'll deconstruct that. Uh, this could be water, this could be priority one. I don't really care about it too much. But yeah, we can get up there. Got lights. We hardly we're hardly chipping into this power yet, so I'm not super concerned about automating it yet. We have loads of puffs up here. Holy crap, that is a lot of puffs. Well, hopefully they can sustain themselves for quite some time. It would be amusing to do something with the puffs. But yeah, I do eventually want to let this water start draining into here. And we are going to need the thimble reeds. There's no actual slime in these bits here, so I'm thinking we just have this ladder go all the way down. And then we can dig these up. Yeah, actually the most convenient thimble reeds. And so we're gonna want those for our plum bathroom and just the consuming all this polluted water, because I don't think we're gonna need it for oxygen, <laughs> considering how few dupes we're actually gonna have. Right. 
Rock Crusher can go here. Actually, that annoys me. I'm going to put the Rock Crusher above the printing pod. That makes sense. And then we want a light. Um, so they use the Rock Crusher faster. And what you want to do is you want to put the light to the left. Because when the dupe operates the, uh, the Rock Crusher, they're going to stand here. It'll look like they're over here operating it, but they're actually standing here. If you put the light on this side, they'll get the lit workspace bonus. If you put it on this side, they might not. And what I like to do as well is I like to put a, a dupe sensor here to activate the light. Um, and the dupe sensor will pick them up while they're here. But if you put it over here, it won't pick them up. So that's what I like to do. But, I mean, I'm not super worried about that yet. Yeah, let's get the rock pressure online. And then we can start getting some refined metal. I don't think there's any easy to grab refined metal on this map. Uh, so we will need to rock crush most of it, which is fine. Because we're also going to need uh, sand. And that's the only way we're going to get sand for a while is rock crushing. It's very important. And I think what we do is we put the storage bin here. And this is where we sweep up the metal ores. Because we're going to want to refine a lot of cobalt, I think. And we'll also put... Uh, we'll also put eggs, uh, eggshells and things in there. <laughs> Best thing about only people stressing about half a dozen sensors and automation to save 8 watts per second. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this is... I mean, this is different than normal. We actually have a load of excess power. So I probably don't need to worry about this. But normally, when I'm, like, running everything off coal, I do like to do this just so that I don't run out of coal. But, I mean, you're right. It's probably a bit overkill. But, I mean... That is why we play these games. Um, let's get the Great Wall going. Let's get a ceiling... Some ceiling plants. That would be good. So, sweep only... Uh... Bolts, nine, and then uh, wait, aren't you guys drowsy? I guess you're not near enough. I think if I actually want to proactively move these guys in here, I'm going to need to put like a intermediate door here. Open this and then shut it when they uh, shut it when they're all in this zone. That's fine. But yeah, you're eating. Uh, yeah, thirty-four thousand five hundred calories per cycle. That's good. There's forty-seven resource conversions causes us to have more stuff at the end than we started with. See, that's the key. Like my previous run. Like, the 400 dupes challenge. Like, that is the entire point of how we're able to get that much water to sustain 400 dupes. is because we're running oil wells. And we're actually refining the oil in such a way that we get more water out of it than we started with. And then, that gives us enough excess water that we can actually feed it to an infinite number of oil wells. And then all that excess water, once we run out of oil wells, goes into electrolyzers. And that's how we can get 400 dupes. <laughs> this uh this game is reality adjacent but I love it yeah I hate outhouses we need to empty this does anyone need to use the bathroom no you're getting irritated eyes polluted oxygen really So, polluted oxygen doesn't... Oh my god, so this is something I didn't realize. So, I think our eyes got irritated by some hydrogen that was floating around. And then because it's polluted oxygen down here, the irritation is staying. It's not going away. Because they're not getting irritated just by being in the polluted oxygen. That's really bad. Well, maybe we do need to deodorize this. It says time remaining infinity. Because they're still in the polluted oxygen. 
I presume it goes away once they're out of the polluted oxygen. Yeah, that's something I didn't even notice, but it's only happening because we released the hydrogen from the plug slopes. Well, eventually that will all rise up, so that's fine. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, there is... Yeah, there's regular oxygen up here. Uh, let's just do... Yeah, let's just do, like, 20 lots of this. Yeah, it goes away once they get out of the polluted oxygen. Man, that is annoying. Yeah, there is some oxalate down here. You're right, that's what's causing it. I mean, yeah, you still need to do the outhouse. So, after we've got the Great Hall up, the next thing is to get this plumbed so that we're not doing that anymore. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Okay, so <laughs> there's a little bit of oxygen, mostly polluted oxygen. Yeah, now you yeah, you've got it as well. That's bizarre. I think we need to put like at least one uh deodorizer in. But we we only have four tons of sand. I mean I guess we're gonna be rock crushing now, so we can have a little bit of uh deodorizing. There is also CO2 over here, which uh, causes its own problems. But now let's just put a deodorizer here. Oh, we don't have deodorizers yet. Hmm. Well, I guess this is only going to be temporary. Let's open this up quickly. Just wait until this plug slot goes in here and then we'll close it. And then he should uh, get on the wire. Yeah, there we go. No? Yes. <laughs> no, please don't. Come on. No. You're going to get trapped, aren't you? Oh my god. What a troll. What an absolute troll. Yeah, they need 80 kilograms per cycle. It's probably, it's probably just worth doing that. Like, so long as we keep rock crushing, we'll produce enough sand to run them. So I think we just do that. Yeah, let's get, um, let's get deodorizers then. Probably the next most actual important thing. But in the meantime, we can have uh, the hanging pots. We have uh, three mallow seeds, so we'll put those there. And it is warm enough for them, so that's good. I think we need to speed through it now. They're all just doing stuff. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to get a loner and this is actually going to be important. I just need to make sure I don't skip over them. But I do hope that uh, we don't skip over a loner. And I, I kind of hope that we don't get one before uh, we launched a rocket. That would be bad. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just gonna watch these plug slugs until they're all past this barrier. I mean, I meant this way. Everyone go this way. Right, okay. Oh my god. Good thing it's something to do anyways. We're probably better off doing it at night, but I'm going to keep trying. Yeah, we're okay. Do it, do it, do it. Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so now these guys... Yeah, now these guys are going for the wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can close this one too. Okay, we did it. <laughs> it's keeping the forever space dupe alive. Yeah, now that's an interesting thing. I think the way this challenge is going to work is that I'm going to... Um, I'm going to let them have one dupe per uh, rocket. So we can have multiple dupes in space, but only one dupe per rocket. And that way, if we want excess dupes, just piloting rockets, we can do that. They are cramped at the moment. They are. So that affects their egg production. Oh, yeah, I see. So eventually they won't relay any eggs. It doesn't affect their power production. But yeah, we do want the eggs. I think what we'll do is we'll have some in the in this room as well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, look. You actually do need to close this. Or actually... I, yeah, because I want people to be able to get through here still. Yeah, there we go. My echoes! This pollution of water is all coming down. It would probably help just to remove all of the... off-gassing stuff as well, if I can. But ultimately, it's kind of what we're relying on at the moment, just for the oxygen. The great hall actually needs to be slightly bigger. It needs to be one tile bigger. That's hilarious. We'll move it over here then. And uh, we'll just dig this out. It's fine. It's a mediocre hall. What are we going to put here? Maybe we put some plug slugs in here. We could put a critter drop off in here and move some of the plug slugs into this room. That seems fine. Because <laughs> we have a bit up here where they could just hang out. Hmm. So the moment we're just trying to go for geode rises. Uh, along this research line, we should also get airflow tiles. So maybe that's more worthwhile than uh, the fire pole for now. I do want to get this ladder finished as well. We can dig all of this out. We can dig all of this out. This should be done first. Yeah, we're getting a decent amount of refined cobalt now. So that should definitely be added to the list. 600 kilograms. It's nice when you actually have a reason to use the rock crusher because you need the sand. Like, normally I feel guilty about rock crushing metal at all, but like, oh, oh, the oxalite uh, collapsed. Is this gonna overflow?
I hope not. We could do that for now, just to uh, stop this from overflowing. It's probably fine. At least no one's getting any hypothermia. Let's uh, sort that digging out as well. I don't really need to dig this up. Yeah, I think we speed three it now. It's very satisfying to see all the slugs in here. But that means we need to get this out of here. But yeah, really not a lot is going to get done until uh, we finish with this uh, rock crushing. But that's fine. That's what speed 3 is for. We're going to need a lot of refined metal for the uh, rocket platform. We can make it with anything, but uh, it requires 800 kilograms. Yeah, punch that button. You are, yeah, we don't really have any operators at the moment, so this will have to do. It's annoying me a little bit that they're still climbing in here. Maybe I should have put the door here. Maybe we'll do that at night. Yeah, now everyone's working on this. Interesting. Oh, because we run out of power. Yeah, because we were doing all the rock crushing. Well, that's fine. I guess. Yeah, we'll let all this liquid back out. Still haven't touched any of the germs. We can actually remove all of this as well, which is probably a good idea. Just that one that's slimy. And then eventually we'll just flood this whole room. There is a gold volcano here. It's not a surprise. I think you're guaranteed to have a gold volcano on the metallic swampy asteroid. Which is nice because it means you can always run an oxalite refinery. Right, actually, let's uh, just do... Let's just do this quickly. Let's put a door in here. You guys will get to sleep, it's fine. I'm sorry, Ruby. You must do this for reasons. There. So now the slugs will just wander around this room. That means we can actually dig this up. Yeah, so in terms of the water, it actually looks like it's mostly okay. I guess we didn't need to put this here. So now this is a great haul and we're getting the plus six bonus. That's good. We still need to actually remove this fossil. And <laughs> no one's bothered. It's because Ellie... Whoa, what is going on with these? Now that's a bug. Also, people are getting hypothermia from sleeping. Let's uh, sweep this all up again. That's no good. Dead, tired, snoring friend? What? Hold on. I picked you all a small bladder. Small bladder. Small bladder. Small bladder. None of you are loud snorers. Oh, it's because Ren sneezed because he had hypothermia. Ooh. Well, that's something I've learned. <laughs> if a doof is sneezing in bed, it wakes up the other dupes. Hey. 
Yeah, maybe I could have. Maybe I should have moved the beds so that they weren't sleeping in puddles. Back to uh, speed three. Oh, okay. We got the research done. Uh, so where are we gonna want to put? Um, Geode risers, because that's next. Seems like most of the hydrogen is gone. Probably just makes sense to put them here. I'll put one here, maybe. I could just put one here. We'll just put one here. So we'll put an airflow tile here. Does not need to be a yellow alert. Hey Lazara. <laughs> yeah, I like the doors too. Um, I mean, you could do it with airflow tiles, but you get doors right in the game. I think it's actually less metal as well. Yeah, it's 100 for two, whereas each airflow tile is 100. So you do save metal doing it like that. And it also means that uh, when they're doing maintenance on the ceiling, they can climb up on the first door to access this. Um, which occasionally helps. But it's not like the main selling point. Yeah, it's something I like to do. And we're only door sealing rooms that need doors. Like, we haven't bothered putting a door here. Uh, we're going to set this to change eggshells and fossil to lime. Because we actually did find some fossil near us, so... Some early line that we can use if we <laughs> end up doing steel anytime soon, which I don't think we will. <laughs> hey, Aguivis, how you doing? I see you found the uh, the follower emotes. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do with the follower emotes because uh, all the Whiskers emotes are on uh, the uh, sub or on the sub category at the moment. So here they are. But um, I wanted something for the regular follower emotes as well. So the rest, of, the rest of the fish in the tank are on the follower emotes. Actually, are uh, very, very quickly. I'll indulge you. So this is the fish tank. This is where the little, uh, this is where the little goobers live. They're all very good and well behaved. You can't really see them at the moment because I'm actually streaming during the day, uh, so the light is coming in from outside. But if I'm still streaming in the evening, which I may well be today, uh, you'll see them lit up stuff yeah they're the uh they're the fan club they like watching the stream they didn't actually come from a stream <laughs> yeah everyone i guess everyone's just uh busy now so we'll speed up we do need this uh research doing because we made the airflow tile out of cobalt it's got this nice little blue tinge But yeah, I've got the whole week off, so we're uh, going to have a fairly decent amount of time for Oni. So we should get pretty far into this. It is currently 2 o'clock, so I'm probably going to have lunch in like half an hour. Um, but that's fine. Yeah, this is making me realize how uh, slowly things are going to go with three dupes. We do have a lot of fossil at the moment. I guess let's make this priority one. We don't need to crush the fossil just yet. Although I think Ruby just likes refining stuff. Yeah, I prefer if he did something else. We'll keep going down here as well because I need the thimble reeds for the plum bathroom. And we will eventually start consuming all this polluted water. Like, I think what I'll do is I'll eventually let this all out down here as well. And we'll just put a pump, like, down here or something. And we'll turn that all into Thimble Reed. Yeah, we're out of power again now. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so these guys are hungry. But let's see how much power they produce when they're hungry. Well, one of them's hungry. Still producing 400 watts. That's pretty good.
But yeah, I'm just glad that we solved that mod issue because I was kind of worried that we were <laughs> we weren't going to be able to play the new update properly. We probably are going to want some um, carbon dioxide as well for the rockets. So considering how few dupes we have, we're not going to produce a lot of carbon dioxide on our own. So we probably will want to supplement this with like a coal generator once we've got all the automation stuff in place. But we'll probably need a few... Yeah, we'll need to do some stuff with smart batteries to make sure that we can store the plug slug output if we're doing that as well. And Ruby's overjoyed. He's they've got a big smile. They're overjoyed on nine morale somehow. So there are sticker bombers, so we're going to get stickers everywhere. Great. <laughs> Just what I was looking for. Yeah, Ruby just likes grabbing everything. We're going to break in here pretty soon. We'll uh, dig all of these out. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna actually dig the top here. I'm just gonna dig the plants themselves. You keep wanting to close the tutorials. <laughs> I'm tempted, but I also because I'm gonna be streaming like most of today. I want to uh, leave them up and see how many achievements we get done today. Probably less than I'd like to admit. Actually, you know what? Yeah, there we go. We dumped all the water in here. Haha. -ha. Actually, is that might. Is that gonna flood the thimble reeds? I don't think they actually get flooded. I remember growing these underwater before. Also, I'm going to want to actually uh, let the water out down here before we uh, go in here, I think. We'll close the tutorials. We'll leave the achievement one and the research one. Because I want to track those today. Yeah, we're going to need to come down here anyways. This whole area where this these tiles are spawned, you don't get any slime in this area specifically. So you can always dig this safely. But you need to actually go in here to reveal the area. You can't just dig into the area without revealing it. Uh, that's not a good time for anyone. So I think we just ladder down here. And then we just dig all of this out. And then I remember not to dig this up. We shouldn't run out of power unless we're using this constantly. I mean, how much power does this use? Uh, 240 watts. That's not a huge amount of power. We'll uh, open this up fairly soon. I guess I'm finding people getting hypothermia now because uh, we have all the basics set up. That was kind of what I was worried about earlier. Now I don't really mind if they get hypothermia, if we just need them to do something. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, you know what? Ellie. Um, no, not Ellie. Who's going to be going abroad first? I think we're going to send uh, Ren over first. No, Ren's going to stay here because the printing pod is here and that's where all the research stuff is. So Ruby is probably the one that's going to go across first because they have hard digging. So I think we want Ruby to come down here and use this. Yeah, Ruby's already here. Use this before it gets flooded. I uh, didn't really time that very well. <laughs> you can do it, Ruby. I believe in you. Oh. Yeah, it does need to actually work. Yeah, there we go. It's done. What we got? We got regenerative. Uh, that's not super useful, but I guess it is if they're digging up a volcano. Um, the extra health is nice. 
Uh, sadly, lo no loners, so reject all. What's flooded? Ooh, we found the thing. <laughs> we found the thing. Somnium synthesizer. New dream analyzing building buried deep in our asteroid. It seems to contain sleep specific suits, pajamas, jimmy jams, etc. Um, I've often wondered what they might become capable of once their imaginations are awakened. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't want to see what the dupes are capable of once their imaginations are unleashed. It's gonna, it's just gonna be Rimworld, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay. So here's the thing: we've got both of the things unlocked, and we've also confirmed that my mods did not break the story traits spawning. So <laughs> that's very important. There's a lot of gold around here as well, and coal. That's good. Yeah, we're going to keep wanting to drain all the loot of water down here. This is the lush core. I think this should be enough space. Maybe we won't drain it below this bit. Can't dig through that. It's of the slime. We can dig through this. And yeah, then I think we put the pump here. And this is where we get all of our polluted water from for a long time. It's got an LED light, an overhead ther light therapy lamp designed to soothe the mines. Oh, a pajama cubby made of steel. It contains pajamas that you can dispense. We're going to want to go in there, but we're not going to want to flood it. So, well, it already is flooded. Then we've got the Somnium Synthesizer, an organic multi-cortex repository and processing system fueled by oxygen. So we have to pump oxygen to it. It produces light. It produces... Uh... It doesn't produce any light while it's flooded. Um, negative decor. Analyzes dream journals produced by duplicates wearing pajamas. Provides a sustainable boost to duplicate skills and abilities throughout the colony. Okay. Well, we'll have to get there first. You guys are going to be doing all this stuff for quite a while. We haven't released the slime lung. There is a puff down here. This poor puff is going to get flooded unless he's very uh, savvy. Yeah, that'll probably be alright. I hope you're going to be able to make it through here. I've given you guys a lot of digging stuff to do. And I believe we've done the deodorizer now. So let's put that in here. At least try and start dealing with this. There's not too much polluted stuff down here. So maybe what I'll do is actually I'll, I'll dig this. We can actually dig... Uh... Yeah, we can dig it from both ends. Like that. No, we'll just put another deodorizer there. We've rock crushed a little bit of sand. So that's fine. Yeah, I think everyone's made up here. Good, good. And we do have the refined metal now. We don't have the smart home stuff yet. Let's do the smart home stuff just so we can automate the lights. Like, that would be nice to do. And we'll just keep trying to lower all this water into here. We can dig this up and lower this water into here. I think this stuff will just stay here for now. Maybe we'll leave that until we've uh, got the bottom empty, or uh, bottom open here. We're going to want to empty into here as well. Just dig all of this up. We'll need... Uh, actually, we'll need super hard digging to do that. Without getting on journey. Just wait for that. Yeah, let's get these things working. I'm going to go for lunch at cycle 15. A 
Okay, there we go. So we got some deodorizing going on. I mean, most of the hydrogen's gone now, so people shouldn't have eye irritation. But it's probably a good idea to do this anyways. I need to get some clay, because we we'll want ceramic. We can turn them off if we don't want to use them. <laughs> Space is the other way. Re yeah. I yeah, it is the other way. We still need to research the rocket uh, platform and stuff. Let's see, Ren is going to go for researching next, the field research next, or astronomy. No, let's go for hard digging next. We want multiple people with hard digging. Yeah, Neo, you'll be pleased. We found the, the Somnium Synthesizer. <laughs> so the, the game definitely loaded everything correctly. So, uh, yeah. We're going to want the Buddy Bud as well. I like Buddy Buds. Some Pakus down here as well. This poor Puffed. Eventually he's going to breathe all this oxygen and he's going to drown himself. This is where the teleporter would be, except, uh, you know, we uh, remove them uh, for the extra challenge. This is the lush core of the planet, so there's no magma here. Yeah, no more restarting. We're done. This is the actual episode one. So yeah, let's load all this water into the teleporter area. We're going to put a pump here eventually, and this is just where we'll send all the polluted water for thimble reeds. Because we're just going to try and consume all of this, I think. There's no Drecos here, so we'll have to do this anyways. It seems like this is... I don't really this so much. Hold, hold the phone, why is there slime lung here? We didn't dig up anything with slime lung in it. We did not dig up anything with slime in it. Oh, it's leaking from over here. That's not fair. We didn't even do anything with that. Oh, that's annoying. Everyone's just got hypothermia at the moment. I think we should be okay. I think we can just seal it in. That's so annoying. There's just a random pocket over there. Right, let's let's uh, sort this out now. I uh, I don't want to deal with this indefinitely. Everyone stop what you're doing, we're gonna come over there and we're gonna actually build those ladders. And then we're gonna seal this up. That's so annoying. Because I bet you've all got like a... I, I don't think you have germ exposure yet. I think the level is low enough that it's not counting as germ exposure. Now that's an interesting idea. What threshold of germs does it take for a, a dupe to get exposed to germs? So I don't know. Uh, I think we're gonna... What are we gonna want on here? I mean, building's all, always good, but I think we're gonna eventually need mechatronics. I think it makes sense to go for that first. So let's do supplying first. And that way, if we need them to store stuff, they can do that more effectively. I think that makes sense. Yeah, this is where, like, most of the germs are. It's where they're all coming from. The thing is... These germs 
feel like they're just gonna multiply. Because there was, I saw like one tile with like 95 germs on it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just multiplying up here. Fewer than 419 germs. Okay, so I think that what's happening is the germs are reproducing over here. But there's not enough germs for them to actually reproduce. So they should clean themselves now that we've sealed this off. That's what I'm thinking will happen. So I think we're okay. I think we've avoided the uh, the worst potential slime line outbreak. All right, let's uh, speed up again. The loads of pack you down here. Yeah, you'll finish off this ladder. So polluted water will all drain down here now. Well, some of it will drain up here, but that's already uh, done. Automation. So, we have some refined metal. So, let's just set up the automation. And it's not super complicated. It's just for the lights, so that we're not constantly running them. And I just like to use a duplicate motion sensor. It has a five-tile range, two tiles either way. So, I've laid out these rooms so I can put the sensors in a way where they're usually used. Uh, I haven't done it here. Hmm. I want that light to stay here, and I want it to be triggered by all seven of these tiles. I think I just moved this one. We put the sensor here, so it covers all the mesh tiles. We definitely won one up here as well. That's why I built the ceiling, so we can just mount it to the ceiling. And because it's going over the automation port, that is usually where it needs to be for the dupe to operate. And that's usually where the bonus supplies. So we'll do that like that. This doesn't need any because it's lit by the printing pod. And I think if I put one here... Gee, I know what I could do. Put one here, one here. I could put another light here. We can hook these up separately. That seems fine. So then this one doesn't activate if dupes are only in the mess hall. And this one activates only if dupes are in the mess hall. Yeah, that seems fine. Ah, uh, plumbing. Yeah, that's definitely the next thing to solve. So let's go and get um, the water sieve and everything set up for that. It's the next task for today. Outhouses suck. Especially when you have one dupe per planet, because then your dupe is going to be spending a lot of time doing the outhouse. And if they forget, then they'll just trouble. So, absolutely no how outhouses is the goal. Yeah, we got lots of this uh, water coming in. That's fine. We can, we can just leave this for now. I'm not super fussed. We've got plenty of water for research. Yeah, this seems fine. And then, uh, how many seeds do we have? We have two more mallow seeds. So let's just put those here for now. And then I'm actually going to deconstruct this. We're going to move it over to the side. And then... <laughs> they'll put a credit drop off here. And we'll just have some... We'll just have a wire here for the plug slugs, maybe. And then the slugs can actually hang out Aha, uh -huh. in the in that room. I like that idea. And at the moment, the light is helping you uh, construct stuff as well, so that's nice. Yep, 
yeah, that's all going well. Getting us all lit up. There we go. Right, we have some thimble reed. Let's add stuff to the list. So clay, reed fiber, thimble reed seeds. That's seven thimble reed seeds is a lot. That's good. Lime, definitely. We're going to want this to be a room, so I think if I'm going to dump any water, it should be from this way. So let's stop digging up that way, and we'll start digging up this way. The ladder. And then any polluted water will let out down, down here. So let's sweep this up for now. Then and then we'll start tiling this. We're also going to need a pump for some regular water to start the bathroom lo loop. So I think what I actually do is I deconstruct this. We move the pitcher pump over, and then we put the pump down here. Oh, but then we can't actually grab any of this. Hmm. I mean, we can just grab this. That probably makes more sense. Yeah, we'll just go down here. We'll want this all eventually anyways. Yeah, we'll just start the bathroom loop off of this. And then, let's see. You can just fit the sieve and the plants in here. I think what I'll do is... Yeah, I think we'll just do that. We'll probably want to run a few thimble reeds off of just the polluted water in general. But I think what I'll do is I'll have those over here or something. Yeah, let's speed to it again. God, it's going to take a while to get anything done, but that's fine. I, I like I like the early game, and we're going to have a lot of early game here just because of the lack of uh, dupes. But we do have speed two and speed three. So we'll be okay. But we'll need to make sure not to let any more polluted water down here while we're doing this. So we're just going to want a pump here. And then... I could even rotate these. I don't... Am I going to rotate these? I think I am. So the outputs will come out here. <laughs> Not like that. Pump that over here. We might want to make this a farm. We might want to fertilize a thimble reed. So let's let's store this off. Sludge press is probably a good idea as well, eventually. Need power down here as well. It's fine, we'll just do that. And then we'll do the rest of the piping once we've got the, uh, the actual uh, water sieve unlocked. 
But yeah, we can just speed through all of this. There's no real uh, risks to anyone at the moment. Thankfully, most of the hydrogen is gone. Uh, we can sweep this as well. It's a really good idea. So long as these guys aren't actually eating, uh, eating any metal, we're fine. The hydrogen was just irritating people's eyes. I'm gonna put more of these in. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on the uh, the sand levels. If we need more sand, we'll do more rock crushing. Right, what we got? Yeah, let's go for ranching. So we can move some plug slugs in here. Plug slugs do give decor, don't they? That's radiation, not decor. Yeah, they give like plus 10 in like a... That's polluted oxygen. You get, yeah, they, they, they don't give a lot of decor. There's probably not a huge amount of purpose in having one in here. We do need to put them in another room, though, and one that we can actually fit these wires. One where we can fit these wires, and one where they're not going to run rampant. Okay. We could probably just put plug slugs in the bedroom, can't we? <laughs> they need like eight tiles each space, don't they? No, 12. So this is 24, so we can put two plug slugs in here and have another two in here. Provided they don't wake up the dupes, that's fine. We need to put a critter drop off in here though, so we can move them over. I don't know, I'm probably overthinking this. We'll eventually need them to lay eggs, but it's not like these guys are anywhere near elderly. Let's see. Actually, you're elderly. Almost. We do have one egg. Hmm. No more loners? Rip. Yeah, we're really just trying to hammer out the research. Where are you going? You're releasing the buddy bud. The germs for all. Yeah, it looks... Uh, I was going to say it looks like the slime on germs are decreasing. It says dying off 100% per cycle, but it seems like they aren't really. Oh, hold on. We've got idols. Are you trapped? No, I just haven't given you anything to do. <laughs> That's fine. I think... What probably makes sense is just to extend this ladder up here and have this be the access shaft into space. So, let's do that. Then we can put the uh, fire pole in here. It's not going to cause any problems. Ah, oh, there's slime here. Oh, how annoying. There. <laughs> Time to dig another hole. Yes, <laughs> indeed. This still feels like a pretty good way into space, but the only thing is we're going to have to let the uh, the pollutant water out a different way. I think if we seal this off, dig this out, seal this off, dig these out. Extend this ladder up here. And then we can actually let all this water out into the polluted hole, uh, polluted water pit down here. That makes sense. I think. <laughs> yeah, let's speed it up. Yeah, I hope you're having a good day. 
I'm having a good day, and um, I've got the whole week off next week, so should be more time for Oni. We're trying to do one dupe per planet, which at the moment means we're just trying to get everything set up. Um, get the research done to make rockets to move people over. We actually turned the teleporters off. So, uh, no teleporting people to other planets. And no care packages. So, it's going to be a little bit tricky. But everyone's doing okay at the moment. I think we're actually doing a decent job of keeping the polluted oxygen out of here, but I don't know. It feels like a losing battle with the deodorizers. The main thing is I just don't want too many slime lung germs. Why have we got... Hold on, hold, hold the phone. Why do we have food poisoning germs in the air? Oh, from the polluted water here. Hmm. We should probably make a special way of actually consuming that. That would probably be a good idea. We can dig all this up and then they can walk over the lip. And then when we pour the polluted water down here, it's not going to get in the way. They did this very quickly, actually. So the clean water is going to go into the bathroom here. Dirty water is going to come out here. And then... I think what we do is we just have the sieve here. Comes out of the sieve and goes back into the bathroom here. Then if the sieve is full, or if the bathroom bit is full, which is just going to be this bit, then it continues going over to the thimble reed. Yeah, that's true. You you want other germs in the air. Um, because then the slime lung germs will get in. So perhaps what we do is we just put a uh, buddy bud over here or something. Because we did find a buddy bud. Yeah, that seems worthwhile. Let's do that. We'll freshen up the uh, bathroom. I do like putting buddy buds in places to do that. I mean, all this off-gassing is good, because at the moment that's where we're getting all of our oxygen from. But eventually we're going to want to control it. We're going to have to find out what's in some of these geysers. There's lots of geysers. And because it's a metallic asteroid, it's going to be mostly uh, volcanoes. Like, metal volcanoes. What do we mean, no buddy buds? Oh, we've sealed off access to this area, haven't we? Hmm. We can definitely put a ladder here. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just move it one tile over. We don't really want people leaving the bathroom. So I guess we just do that for now. And then people can get down here again. But we're sealing this off just so that we can release the pollutant water and it can go down here and not cause any issues. You're gonna trap yourself, aren't you? Let's not trap you. Also, I think we researched the sieve now. That's good. Ethanol distiller, perfect. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, so the sieve can go here. And now we need... Uh, hydroponic tiles, because we're going to have thimble reeds consume all the excess polluted water. So that goes there. Yeah, we'll get the ladder finished first, and then uh, we can dig this up. I feel like this is going to be like a sort of main access shaft. We can just go through here. Space. 
<laughs> this is certainly looking less organized than my usual bases, but that's fine. The important thing is that everything actually just works. Everyone is doing a lot of research. Well, they're trying their best anyways. The reality is none of them none of them are super boffins. None of them have the super high research skill. Because they all have three interests, because I want them all to eventually learn everything, and morale is going to hammer us. So we need a wire, so go there. And then this is going to use uh, sand, and this is non-negotiable, so we start running out of sand. We need a rock crush enough to at least keep this on, otherwise the bathrooms are going to stop working. Yeah, let's get these hydroponic farms. We still have about 40,000 calories worth of swamp chard, and there is more. We can always dig up more if we need it, like there's some here, there's some here, there's some here. Having so few dupes means that we're not going to run out of food very quickly. But eventually we'll just need to do some farming. Idle. Oh, you're just running out of stuff to do. Okay, uh, well, you can grab the buddy bud now. That's fine. We can dig this all up now. And I think what I'll do is... Well, first of all, let's, uh... I think we can let all this water out now, so let's just dig up here. Where does the space exposure start? It doesn't start until there. So we can literally ladder right up to here. And then eventually we'll put the fire pole in. Put it here. We can let all this water out now. So let's do that. And then we can let this water out as well. And grab these. There isn't any slime lung in here. I mean, there isn't a slime, but not in the air. So that's fine. Yeah, we want all the hydrogen to collect somewhere as well. So if we dig this out, then this hydrogen should end up going up here as well. And then eventually all the hydrogen will end up at the top of the map. Unreachable food. Oh, because of the mud. Uh, that needs to be done immediately. How did that get there? I guess, I guess it was just up here and then we just forgot to dig it again. beans. Yeah, I think things are going pretty well for these people. They've got lights, they've got all the facilities, uh, they've got a bedroom down here, they've got power, they're not running on wheels. The air is getting cleaner by the day. They're kind of running out of sand, but I mean, we'll, we'll get more. But uh, I think... I'm going to go for lunch. Uh, so I will be back in like uh, 10, 15 minutes probably. Uh, and in the meantime, meantime, check out some fishy views. <laughs> um, I'm usually streaming uh, Mondays to Fridays at um, 7 to 11 GMT. Uh, but this week is a bit different because I've got annual leave. So I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be doing uh, whatever I feel like. The best way of knowing for certain is to follow, and then you'll get a notification when I go live. And there's also the Discord, where uh, people hang out, I post in there when I'm going live. And there's sort of some Oni, Oni builds in there that people like to share. Um, just, just a nice place, really. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. So, bye for now.
Hello, I'm back. Lunch was very nice. But while we're here, I do have a poll going on at the moment. And it is actually working today. <laughs> so, I like to get some feedback on uh, what else people want to see with the stream. Uh, obviously, we do a lot of oxygen not included here. Um, but there are other games that <laughs> I have and I need to get around to playing at some point. Um, and we're going to keep going with this um, One Duper Challenge, One Duper Planet Challenge for a while. But it's probably not going to last super long. We're probably going to get it done fairly quickly? I don't know. Um, so I just want to collect some ideas. Uh, continuing the previous run is option number one. Option number two is uh, a seed I found uh, on like classic rhyme where it has 16 magma volcanoes and trying to use all of them somehow, which seems really amusing to me. Uh, Stellaris is another one. Um, <laughs> obviously the new Toxoids pack came out recently and a load of balance changes. I still haven't got around to playing Stellaris Aquatics yet. Um, I would get the new DLC and everything, because I love Stellaris. But we'd probably do an aquatic steam playthrough where we try and convert the whole galaxy to ocean planets or something. And then Dyson Sphere Program is another game that I like. That is, uh, that is on the list. So if you want to vote, just type exclamation mark vote, and uh, I'll show the options again later. Yeah, let's get back to the game. Right, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, we're okay. So everyone is snoozing. <clears throat> I think I do want to move the plug slugs in here. So we need to put a credit drop off. We'll need to make this room slightly larger. Yeah, I'm not sure it worked either. Poll is up. Um, I will add... Yeah, I will... I'll make sure that works later. But, uh... I'm surprised it didn't work. I'll have a look quickly, because I fixed that last night. Let's just have a look at this poll in Streamlabs. Yeah, the poll is up. No, 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 you spelled it right. Well, I'll look into it later, I'll look into it later, but um, I'll make sure that uh, <laughs> um, that vote is considered. But yeah, we'll put a credit drop off in here. We'll put the plug slugs in here. I don't think that, I don't think that will wake up any of the plug slugs. Why are there germs? Okay. It's food poisoning, germs everywhere. You need to go wash your hands. Maybe we need more than one sink. <laughs> we do have room for more than one sink. Maybe we do that. I'm kind of hoping we could get away without doing that, but whatever. And then, uh, let's see. We're currently getting a hydroponics, and then after that we'll get the credit drop off, and we'll put that in here. I think we can speed to it again.
yeah we're gonna let all this water out so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting hopefully it won't overflow this time my only thought is that it could actually come down here so let's let's dig this and dig all of that as well it's priority nine just digging Yeah, that's so many puffs in that one region. So, uh, where the rocket? It's crazy. <laughs> where rocket? We, look, we're working on it, Leo Farm. We're going to build the rocket up here. We also need the... <laughs> I need mean, Neo. We also need the uh, the rocket here. Yeah, the text to speech worked today. Um, the new poll is up, but the vote command doesn't seem to be working. So I think I think the, the Streamlabs bot uh, needs to come back. He's wandered off. A load of stuff broke because I changed my username. Uh, a while ago. So we've got to unbreak a few things. Where rocket re? <laughs> we've got to remember we've only got three dupes. It's uh, <laughs> we're trying we're trying to get stuff done, but uh, there's not many uh, not many people available. If we do get another loner from the printing pod, we will print them and then we'll find a planet for them. My COVID recovery stream. I'm glad. I hope I recover from this cold because my throat is already kind of feeling it, but I don't... Uh, I don't know. I was only worry about this. It's like, I don't want to not stream because I've got like a, a, a slightly sore throat. Like, it's not even that bad. It's just occasionally I want to cough. It's like... I would rather just stream and then occasionally cough and mute myself than uh, not stream when I've actually got some free time. Because the reason I haven't streamed that much recently is because I haven't had a huge amount of free time. Work's been demanding. I've had lots of errands to do. We had a sick fish and unfortunately the sick fish died. That tank, uh, the white tank uh, to the right of my main tank was like a little quarantine tank I put him in um, so that he could get better on his own. Um, but even with the medicine, he didn't get better. Um, but it was a good idea to have the separate tank anyways, because when he died, um, it immediately turned, like he immediately started rotting. And if he died in the tank, the other fish would have eaten him. they probably gotten whatever he had. So, uh, quarantine tank is always worth having if you have a large fish tank. Because if you have a sick fish, you can separate them and they either get better on their own and you have to medicate less water. Um, oh, it's okay. It's 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 not too bad. Like there are multiple babies. There are multiple babies in the tank at the moment. So, what my plan is is one of the babies I will I will grab, and I will uh, I will raise him in that tank so that Whiskers doesn't eat him. Yeah, the thing is, the issue he had seem more like a neurological issue than uh, an illness issue. Because I've had ill fish and I've given the medicine and they've recovered. And I don't get ill that often. There's one fish that I have in there at the moment that gets like a sort of recurring sort of like little uh, scale problem. Um, but that comes and goes. And there's one that has like a little cyst on its lip. So that it looks like it's got like a big bubble on its lip. But other than that, they're all fine. But yeah, you do have to uh, you do have to make sure that you're looking after the water parameters and doing the regular water changes, because uh, what happens is the fish will produce waste. Um, they'll produce ammonia, and that will that will go into the tank, and then bacteria in the tank will convert the ammonia into nitrates, which are less poisonous. You don't want any ammonia in your water at all, otherwise that can cause problems. And you can have a mild amount of nitrates in the tank and it doesn't cause problems. And then the plants in the tank eat the nitrates. Um, so if you have enough plants and like a proper filter so that the bacteria can breed in that filter, um, you can go quite a while without water changes. But you will eventually need to change some of the water just to keep it down. Um, if the nitrates get too high, the fish can get ill. And if the water parameters like the the salinity, if it's salt water, the temperature, the hardness of the water, if they're different from the ideal amount, the fish can get ill. And these fish all have similar requirements in terms of uh, temperature, um, 
um, water hardness, etc. Um, so generally, they've not been getting ill too much. I mean, yeah. So, like, some people just instead of doing that, like, 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 um, they'll just have more fish, and then some of them will die and get eaten, and then some of them will give birth. But because Whiskers eats a lot of the baby fish, um, all the natural births in the tank are effectively being taken care of. So we haven't got excess fish, which is good. <laughs> But um, it does mean that um, uh, they're not replaced as easily. So I'm, I'm going to use that tank down there to raise some baby fish. But it's okay. It's it's not not too bad. I've had them for six months now. So like one death in like six months isn't awful. Um, and yeah, ne neurological problems are surprisingly common in fish. Fish can have strokes. Um, and that's a lot more sudden than what happened. But, um, because of how fish are bred, they're often inbred quite a lot. Um, and that can lead to neurological issues over time. I mean, ideally, if you're buying fish, you, you want, ideally want to buy them caught from the wild, because then they're not as inbred. But, that's not very practical. And most of the time, it's okay. Um, to have store-bought fish. Usually they don't have problems. Or usually if they do have problems, you can spot them uh, You can spot them in the store. So you can avoid those fish. You can avoid getting fish from a tank that has sick fish in it. I've been to stores sometimes and they've just had dead goldfish in the tanks with the others. It's just like, I'm not going to buy any fish from you if there is literally a dead fish in your tank. <laughs> yeah, we got loads of fish in the game. Uh, loads of Paku just hanging out. There's a few over here. You get lots of Paku on this map starting off. We'll eventually do a fish tank, but again, with so few dupes, food really isn't that important to me at the moment. We still have loads of swamp chard to get through. Anyways, we did the research. What are we doing? Hydroponic farms. So, this one here will be the bathroom waste. Excess bathroom waste that doesn't get sieved and go back into the bathrooms will go into a thimble reed. These thimble reeds will actually be serviced by a pump that we put down here. And we'll slowly consume all the polluted water on the map to do that. So let's go put this pump here. <laughs> this is where the teleporter would have been, uh, but uh, sadly... Sadly, we generated the map without teleporters uh, for extra challenge. So, let's use it instead for this. And I'm just going to put it down the bottom. It'll take a while to build, but then eventually we won't have to worry about this for ages. We'll have the pump just, well, the pipe just go across there. And then we can increase the amount of thimble reeds as well once we're done pouring all this water. Actually building up quite quickly. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's uh, let's sort that out quickly. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, let's do this. <laughs> Quick. But yeah. Next research. So I think we have everything we need for the the bathrooms now do we have oh no we don't have the actual uh, plumbing okay <clears throat> we'll get that and then we can actually replace these this pipe is full so uh i think we'll still want to pump this in we'll just let the excess go to the thimble reed for now i think we just want to get rid of this water here a nice little waterfall of uh, polluted water going past the Great Hall. How's that for de uh, decoration? It's going to take a while for them to build all of this. Maybe let's make this uh, priority five. That's kind of like a nice to have more than anything. And we're up here. Yeah, that's okay. 
So we should be able to pour a lot more water out of here now. We can just keep dumping all of this water. But it's probably worth building all this stuff before we dump more water in there. Because otherwise dupes are going to be taking forever to go in here. Eventually we're going to need Atmo suits. But we need this to work first, so to get the reed fiber for the Atmo suits. So we'll do that first. Right, let's speed three again. What are you doing? We'll plant, we'll plant the plants here. I do like doing it this way, because if you have enough dupes that you need more than one thimble reed to handle all the excess waste, you can just hook up the wires, uh, the plant, the pipes differently. Yeah, none of these are loners. Yeah, we just speed through this. And then once we've done once we've done the uh, the bathroom, uh, we'll do the ranching so we can wrangle some plug slugs in here, and then if they're not cramped, they'll lay enough eggs to replace themselves. So that will work out well. I think it would probably be worthwhile to put a kiln here as well, so we can make some ceramic. Why am I building everything as yellow alerts? You know, obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, heat building up from some of this equipment. So we're not going to overuse it, but it'd be nice to have the option to make stuff out of ceramic if we need it. I always like when the base starts off really small and looks like this because it looks like an actual apartment block or something like with just a few floors and just like the beds. It looks less like a monstrous uh, <laughs> actual colony when you've got a lower amount of dupes. It's very aesthetic. Right, we've got the lavatory, we've got the shower. We've got the sink. We don't have a shower. We could put a shower here. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's probably worth doing. We can just move all this stuff. Yeah, let's start let's start working on all of this. We might as well have it in the same room so we can just run it the same way. Like this. And then I think we can just deconstruct all of this stuff now. So let's do that now. Yeah, er the thing about this game is early game is really fun. <laughs> but if you restart too often, you never actually get to the late game. And we're at the late game in our previous run. So I do want to go back and do that. Interesting superposition of names there. Yeah, we need to put all this stuff in before it, uh, before the dupes need to use it again. And we do need to actually rotate it. What do you mean? What do you mean I can't rotate a sink? Why can I rotate a lavatory and I can't rotate a sink? That is that is triggering. That is going to trigger me. Right, okay. I guess we'll just do it like this. <laughs> That's very annoying. Oh, 
Well, it's, it's not it's not bad. There we go. So we won't rotate this stuff. Yeah, and this all needs to be priority nine. Because you do need a functioning bathroom. And this should be everything we need just to uh, have the bathroom just run off sand. And then no one needs to empty the outhouse anymore. Also, we did the uh, did the research, so let's uh, hook up the Ritter Wrangling research. And then after this, we will do the rocket platform and get moving. Now, the thing is, there's lots of carbon dioxide in this room, actually, that we can use for the rocket. So we need to make sure to preserve this. We're going to want, like, a liquid lock for getting into space. Probably just do something over here with this liquid. Yeah, this is all going okay. We did remove the buddy bud, which is fine. Yeah, just watch them do this. I do like showers. I'll put the buddy button here. If we're not going to have the actual uh, lug slugs in here, we can just have the buddy bud. I'll put another storage bin in here. So now people are just going to be working on this pipe for the rest of the symbol reads. These should all be loaded. Then all the polluted water will come out into here. So we'll make sure to watch this uh, when everyone goes to the bathroom. We've ended up doing um, nine tiles there. Eight tiles here. Interesting. Yeah, this looks like speed three time. So, a while ago I was worried that I was drinking too much caffeine. So I did like a like a three week stint where I didn't drink any caffeine. And that actually went pretty well. Like the first week was rough. But after that it got better. And, I, and then it was at the point where, actually, I can get up in the morning and I don't need a coffee. <laughs> Um, and since then, I have slowly sort of relapsed back into having caffeine, but not as much. Um, so that's been fine. But at the moment, I am drinking some caffeine because it helps uh, with the, the mild cold symptoms I have. Sponsored stream. <laughs> The thing is, I bring these big bottles to work, and uh, everyone everyone always says, Matt, I can't believe you're drinking like uh, Diet Coke or whatever at like half nine in the morning. And then I'm like, well, it's sugar free and it has less caffeine in it than regular coffee. So what is the actual problem? And I think people thought I was drinking a fresh two liter every day I came in. Um, but no, I like I quite like flat Coke, so I'll just sip from the same bottle for like a week or two. So I'm not actually drinking that much. <laughs> but for a while, people at work were confused. They just thought I just went through bottles and bottles of this stuff. Presumably because people they knew did that. God, it's just actually going to take an age to build this pipe. That's fine. Do you still want to let more water out here? There's a lot of water in here I want to let out.
Yeah, I guess it's mostly just getting this pipe done. At least this bit here is like breathable. So that's good. But yeah, my sister in particular, she likes to drink lots of energy drinks, like the monster um, stuff and like the Red Bull. I I tried one of those once when I was in my undergrad because um, it was like midnight and I still had like a couple of hours left to do on a presentation and needed to be done the following morning. So it's like, I I don't have time to sleep. I I need to keep going. So I had a, I had a monster and my, I was so hyperactive because I never had it before. My my hand wasn't keeping still on the mouse. <laughs> so I was trying to do this AutoCAD thing for a presentation and I just couldn't get the mouse where I needed it to go. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, that wasn't super successful. And then we did the presentation and it turns out the other guy who was bringing a load of photos and things, like, like posters that he did, he overslept. So he never showed up with the posters. All we had was the PowerPoint. No, it's just like, oh, why did I even bother? <laughs> yeah, pop deer drums down here. I'm not surprised. We compressed a lot of polluted oxygen in here. Thankfully, we have enough uh, morale that it's not causing any issues. But yeah, people are going to get soaked. People are going to get popped ear drums while they're doing this. It's not going to be pleasant. Nothing else to really watch at the moment. Right, research is done. So that is... What do you mean? What do you mean you can't reach? Why are you building the pipe out of sandstone? Did we run out of sedimentary rock? That's so weird. Oh, it's because this pipe is made out of sandstone. So we tried to use up all of our sandstone to do that. Okay, that's not actually a problem. I don't think we need the sandstone for anything specific. Right, let us drop plug slugs in here. That's fine. Then what are we going to put in here? Wait, I'll put this priority one. Uh, let's say... Clay. We don't have any clay? No, hold on. There it is. Soil. So clay and coal. When we want to refine those. We haven't actually dug up any coal yet. That's funny. How are skill points doing? Uh, we're going to want super hard digging at some point. We're also going to want astronomy. I mean, ultimately, these geysers are kind of blocked off by the obsidian, so I'm not too worried about the geysers yet. We're not consuming enough stuff that I'm worried about geysers. Yeah, the bathroom's working. So at the moment, the water's coming in. Uh, we're still pumping the water from over here, so at the moment, none of it is getting sieved because we don't need to sieve it yet. So all the excess, all of the bathroom output is just going into the thimble reed at the moment, which is fine. And then once we've pumped all of this, this will just run off its own water because when dupes go to the bathroom they consume five kilograms of water and they produce 11.7 .7 kilograms of polluted water lovely so if you don't have an excess it will just overfill and then your dupes can't go to the bathroom so that's what the symbol read is for it is it is a loop it will connect here, but the uh, it's currently blocked because we're pumping it preferentially up from here because we want to consume this water first. 
So at the moment, we're just uh, feeding this plant because we want more thimble uh, reed fiber anyways. How's this all going? Okay, you're pretty much done. That's good. Um, next on the list is rocket platforms. Because we need to get these dupes off the planet. Because <laughs> we need to uh, have this actually be a one dupe, uh, one dupe per planet challenge after all. I'm going to say bridge block by incoming water. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll remove that once we're done with this. I mean, I could just dump this water down here and we could save it for research. There's little bits of water around. Maybe we are better off doing that. I think we are better off doing that. We'll let this get up through here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll actually... Uh, Go down here. Oh, hold on. This isn't going to work because we're going through mud. Let's uh, be a little bit smart about this. Yeah, that's not mud, so we should just be able to sneak down here. And then we can just let that in there. Yeah, that's what we want at the moment, but we should save this water for research, really. So let's mix it with the rest of this. Oh, but we do actually want to move some plug slugs, so... Let's wrangle two of these and put them in the bedrooms. What I could actually do is I could put the two plug slugs, um, the rest of the plug slugs up here. <laughs> We've got the two seven wide rooms next to each other. It's probably not needed. Or alternatively, I could just put the bedrooms down here. Hmm. Uh, that's probably just being a bit fussy. I mean, the end goal is not to have three dupes on this planet, so eventually we'll reshuffle things a little bit. Anyways, so we'll just leave it for now. These dupes, <laughs> these dupes have limited resources to do everything anyways. They only have so much manpower and I can't waste it on stupid stuff like moving a bedroom because I thought it would look pretty somewhere else. Well, I can, but I'm not going to. Right, we need a wire uh, for that as well. That's fine, we'll just send it down here. Let's not overcomplicate things. Oh, there's cobalt in here, isn't there? We need to sweep this up. Is there any, uh... Is there any cobalt in here? There is. Yeah, we don't want any more hydrogen because that's giving people eye irritation. No loners. Yeah, speed three time. People have loads of stuff to do. I'm glad I gave Ellie that supply because it, it does mean she's moving this metal faster. That's fine. So we don't quite have 800 kilograms. 
Let's make another. Make another ten lots of cobalt. That'll give us some more sand as well. We're down to about two thousand kilograms of sand. Let's see. I don't think there's any point in running these deodorizers anymore. Because we've got rid of the hydrogen. And the slime lung germs are mostly dying off. Or at the very least are being kept at bay. They are multiplying and we do have the buddy bud. Providing uh, some protection against that. So I think we turn those off to stop consuming all the extra sand. I think we actually do put the fire pole in there. We don't have fire pole research yet. But this is probably where our space exit is going to be. Yeah, speed through it. I guess we'll uh, watch them build the wire for a little bit. Each of these plants consumes 160 kilograms per cycle. So if we had six running off of this, that would be one kilogram per cycle of... Oh, oh 1,000 kilograms per cycle, roughly. I mean, this is running 10 kilograms per second, so that could be that could be 6,000 kilograms per second, but we don't want to consume it that quickly. Do we? We're probably not going to electrolyze it. We're eventually going to need a lot of reed fiber. I, don't, I guess there's no point in overproducing it for now. We'll just get the wire finished. At least you can breathe down here. Hypothermia is annoying. But we can put up with it. It's just wire. Yeah, not too bad. Fishies hanging out. It's good. <laughs> there we go. So that's just going to end up going into these dimple reeds. And then we can dig in here and let this water down here. Ren can continue doing the research. The Hold on, let's have a look at the plug slugs quickly. So they're now happy and they're not cramped. These ones are still cramped because there's an egg in there. I don't think we want to run a uh, incubator for these guys. I think we just need to dump the eggs somewhere. Which is a mechatronics job. Uh, we don't want them just running around loose. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have enough uh, refined metal to do that yet. That's fine. So we're also going to need the carbon dioxide rocket and we're going to probably need the enclosed telescope. Let's grab the carbon dioxide rocket stuff first. Which would be here. Advanced gas plant. Yes, keep them unhappy and take the eggs. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want them producing more hydrogen because that's irritating the dupes' eyes and that's making them run a lot slower. Uh, so let's see, what do we need first? Telescope usage, field research, or super hard digging. I think we just need the digging. Let's just keep giving Ren the digging skills. We'll do the research stuff later. We do actually need to be able to dig abyssalite. 
Actually, there's not a lot of Abyssalite here. There's a little bit. We're going to dig through here. Maybe I should have given them something else. So yeah, I, if we're going to dump the eggs anywhere, where are we going to dump them? Because it needs to be somewhere where they're not going to escape. Hmm. Oh, we can just dump them in here. That's fine. Just leave that for now. Unhappy plus wild will burn calories very slow, so good power source. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys are still eating all the swamp chard. There's so much of this, and we're going to keep finding more of it. Yeah, we can let this water down here. There's actually a load of water down here as well. Like a load of it. It's kind of an interesting challenge trying to keep these liquids from mixing, and we've actually been successful this time. On our last run, we weren't really successful. Some polluted water did get in. It was too much to uh, mop up. This bit here... I think what we actually do with this bit here is we dig in, we dig this out, we dig this, and then I think we can actually just sweep it. I think it'll be low enough mass that we can sweep it. Which is good because I don't want to dump it over here. And then we can just take this water and dump it over there. But we're going to want to grab this water. So let's do that. We've got ice here. You guys have loads of stuff to do. We do want to open this up again at some point, so let's just get this water handled. I'm not super fussed about this water. There's some brine over here, that's kind of weird. Presumably some brine ice from the surface that melted. We're going to want the fire pole soon as well, but I don't think there's a, a lot of up and downing going on at the moment. Let's have a look at the traffic overlay. Yeah, most of the motion is just through here. And then along here. Got another skill point. Yeah, Ruby, we'll give you supplying because we are occasionally needing you to do supplying runs and just the extra carrying capacity is just so nice. You're eating the algae, how dare you? <laughs> Don't eat the algae. Without that, we're going to suffocate. Look at the sheer lack of oxygen production going on. <laughs> So I have a confession. Um, I did pick this seed out specifically. Um, this seed is quite good, and I found it using this tool. Um, there is an infectious polluted oxygen vent on five on each of the five planets in the main cluster. <laughs> and normally that's not super relevant because they only produce enough oxygen for one dupe. Well, we're only going to have one dupe per planet. So <laughs> if we find the uh, polluted oxygen vents and we set up some radiation next to them to kill the germs, then that's our oxygen needs sorted for the first five dupes.
And I thought that'd be something neat to do because I, I did it a while ago in my first playthrough, but that was more just because I wanted to breed shine bugs. But we're going to actually utilize that this time because most of the time, infectious polluted oxygen vents aren't very good, but it is a very easy way to get enough oxygen for one dupe. And for a loner situation, that's really perfect. But we're not going to find any geysers until we get uh, level 3 digging. You know what, Ellie is going to dig all of this out. It'll be very sad. Yeah, you're going to be okay. Mix this all together. You can grab this as well while you're here. Can you check the debuff again for breathing polluted O2? Yeah, so it is plus 30 grams per second consumption of oxygen. So it's they consume 130 grams per second of polluted oxygen. And I think most infectious polluted oxygen geysers give you like somewhere in the region of 160 grams per second over the dormancy period. I mean, we'd deodorize it anyways, probably. Actually, maybe we wouldn't. I don't know. I don't think I want the dupes permanently hanging out in polluted oxygen. It's kind of asking for trouble. It's an option. I'm not sure it's an option I'm actually going to take. But I do actually want to dump some of this polluted water, so hopefully these guys will get on with that soon. We have enough for a rocket platform. Where am I going to want to put this rocket platform? If I put a rocket platform here, then the rocket uh, erupting and landing should melt all this ice. The issue being, obviously, it's vacuum exposed. So, you know, that's not great. I think what I do is I dig this up. This bit here isn't space exposed. And then we put the rocket platform here and we try and melt all this liquid. That seems funny. And then we'll have some ice on hand in case we want to... Uh, in case you want to, like, dump temperature somewhere. That seems useful. What do you mean, toilet out of order? We're fine. We've almost consumed all of this. Yeah, and these thimble reeds are growing now as well. That's good. These guys were still producing 400 watts each. I like it. I do like it. It's actually very cute watching them all sleep together. I'm thinking maybe what happens is I actually move the, uh, the plug slugs up here and we do something else down here. But that's not that's not super important at the moment, so we'll just uh, let them get on with everything else. Eventually, we're going to want this to be like the rec room or something. What we got? We got the the, the rocket stuff. So come dockside rocket. We need to make a liquid lock over here. We could do that really easily with uh, some of this liquid. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think what I actually do is I do this. We dig this up. And then we leave... This... We leave this, or actually, more correctly, we tile this. None of this is space exposed. And then this can be the exit into space. And that way we don't have to haul liquids up here to do this. This will just pour out naturally. If we do it in the right order. Okay, that water's all in there now. That's nice. 
What is he down here we need to do now? Uh, let's do fire pole. Because people are going to be going up and down a lot now. Here we are. But yeah, once we've dug out this, uh, we should be able to sweep this water up. Let's speed to it. These plants are overtaking this one. Yeah, this seems like it's going to work out. Hopefully we're not going to release the gases. It's funny, they look, they look a bit like bunker tiles with this mod. Yeah, fire poles are really fast. If you can use them, you should use them. So we're just going to try and position everything on this fire pole. I think that makes sense. So if we were going to do that, then it probably would make sense to actually move the bedrooms down or up. We could have the bedrooms here. Yeah, the surface. <laughs> what do you mean, finally? <laughs> it's like, it's only cycle 24. Like, if, if we took, like a dupe every three cycles then we probably get to the point where we're doing rockets by like cycle what 15 i feel like this is acceptable acceptable speed of getting there considering we're not hiring any extra dupes this is definitely the zone where all the stuff is happening Epo. <laughs> yeah, there's no mud here. You can dig this all. Yeah, we'll want Atmo suits, won't we? Because uh, we have Thimble reeds, so we can make them. We're going to need to do some rock crushing, but that's fine. We need to rock crush anyways for sand. No loners. Feels bad, man. We're gonna, they're very rare, but eventually we're going to get one, and it's going to be excellent. Yeah, we kind of need to make sure this is all done in the right order. I think this is okay now. Because we've built these tiles. I think that was the main thing that needed to happen in the right order. I'm going to speed through it again. Yeah. We should have enough uh, reed fiber to make these Atmo suits. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, that's fine. We want the excess to drain off. That's fine. Yeah. Because it's just going to go over here, down into the main pit. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, this has got this has got to be like a shot. <laughs> the slugs woke up before the people. Slugs are good boys, they get to bed nice and early. Yeah, you've got eye irritation. Because of... Oh, because you've been going up in here into the hydrogen. Oh, that's true. 
we are going to have like major eye irritation on all these dupes at the moment because they're all going up there and they're not getting they're not getting the clean air this is why i don't want the dupes hanging around in unclean air because they're constantly going to have the minus athletics penalty do i just vent all this hydrogen really Maybe we do, because we're just going to electrolyze water if we want more hydrogen, I think. And there's no way we're going to be able to clean this air. It's just not happening. Or maybe we just activate these again so they have a zone of clean air. Because I don't want to get rid of the hydrogen, but I also don't want the dupes to just be permanently irritated. Because the polluted oxygen doesn't contribute to the eye irritation, but it does prevent it from going away. is very annoying yeah we want this to all be uh tile and then we'll uh we'll ladder up here that's all very cold polluted uh water but that's fine Temperatures are actually pretty nice overall. It's a bit cold in the metallic caves. But generally, it doesn't seem like heat is going to be a problem. Yeah, not too bad. We'll let a little bit of hydrogen out there, but that's okay. And I guess the eye irritation isn't too bad at the moment because they're not really moving around a lot. Like, they're, they're able to get most of the resources they need from the area. It's not like they've got long commutes. And then, I think we mostly just want to dig out this ice. And put the rocket platform here so that we can melt this ice. I think that makes sense. Because if we dig out the ice and it just stays here... Actually, is it going to melt before the rest of the stuff? It probably is, isn't it? Hmm. We could dig it down to this depth. Yeah, like this. And then, any ice from here will uh, drop down into here. It will melt. And then, actually, no, that that ice is all going to melt up anyways. It's going to melt past the threshold and then evaporate. Because hmm. I want to avoid digging as much of it as possible. I do want to melt it with the rocket and somehow harvest it that way. I think it might be a bit complicated. Let's not overcomplicate this. Just put it here. I just want to melt it. I don't necessarily want to keep the water. I just <laughs> I just want to see if we can melt it reasonably with the rocket. Because carbon dioxide rockets don't produce a huge amount of heat. Yeah, and then this bit here will all be vacuum. Except for this water which we're going to release. But there's our liquid lock. No bottling required. Might as well dig this all out. Surface breach! There we go. Our duplicates have managed to breach the surface of our rocky prison. I should be careful, the region is extremely inhospitable. I can easily lose resources to the vacuum space. Yeah, keep that water and it becomes polluted oxygen and then uh, they get to breathe out here a little bit. That is very true. That's what I'm doing is uh, trying to release this all because it will take ages for this to off gas and in the meantime it just means we can breathe down here. 
The pressure should probably be high enough, especially if we spread it out like this. And we want all the cobalt anyways. Do you believe there will be an update to surface someday? Do you mean like the, the tooltip? Or, or just the actual gameplay? Alright, we've got the fire pole. Okay. Cool stuff. We're gonna need to ladder into here, which is fine. We want to release this uh, as well. There is Wolframite up here, which is why I'm also eager to dig this up. So Wolframite is level 2 digging, so I guess we can use that for now. That's good. Yeah, I'm really excited. The devs really do seem to be actively developing this game. And I never have enough time to actually play all of the content. Maybe we should take it off speed one for a while. <laughs> but, um, no, it's great. I love this game. It's it's very complex. Uh, it's a nice sort of, sort of um, aesthetic. It's not like too grim, dark or whatever. It's like a nice cute game. But there's lots of real gameplay difficulty and stuff. And they're always adding new things to it. And the company itself seems really nice. Um, there's no only battle pass. <laughs> So that's a plus. I'm still salty about Overwatch 2. I'm going to be salty about Overwatch 2 for a long time. But yeah, we're going to dig this little bit of ice. We're just going to try and melt the rest of this just to see what happens. It's still shocked there's zero penalty for walking in a vacuum, like not even a zero pressure stress. Yeah, that's kind of true. I think it's weird that dupes can't die from hypothermia. Like if you froze the dupe at absolute zero, they'd be fine if you got them in a nice warm room again. Which, uh, I get kind of confused by. We might need to do a little bit of laddering. What if we just add real science? <laughs> mm. Yeah, especially if we leave just, like, one tile open to space here. We should get a lot of off-gassing. This liquid lock will eventually, uh, off-gas, I think, to the point where it stops doing stuff, although it doesn't say it's currently emitting. I don't trust it though. This this clearly means it's emitting oxygen. Yeah, the dupes could die from overheating, so they should definitely be able to die from hypothermia. It's kind of weird that they can't. Playing only doesn't feel like just wasting time and fun. It feels like developing skills that are actually useful. Yeah, that's kind of it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I like Civ a lot, but as a game, I don't want to spend a huge amount of time playing it because it's not difficult. Like, I'd just be beating up the computer just to have fun, which is fine. But, like, I have... I feel like there's... I have better things to do, which is odd because I really enjoy Civ. And there's lots of stuff I haven't done in Civ. But I feel like with Civ, it's like an eventuality. If I put the time into it, it just will happen because it's relatively easy. But something like this, I don't know if I can actually do everything in this game because I haven't tried it yet and it's actually complex enough that I could get it wrong. Um, so that is a big plus to me. It'll take like, like 5,000 cycles for that water to disappear. Yeah, I'm not worried. Um, we can put bottle empties in here and fill it up again if we need to. But this will this will go. Anyways, we're not researching anything at the moment. We need to put the fire pole in. I need to move these deodorizers. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the deodorizers here. Um on the side like this. But we need these to be mesh tiles, not airflow tiles. Because we're going to be uh, pouring more polluted water down there. I think... Yeah, there's this water. I'm going to keep the mesh tiles for now. We did unlock them when we were doing all the stuff for the... Uh, the bathroom. Then we can hook these up like this. Uh, 
We could put another one. I don't know. I'm not going to bother putting another one here. But we can we can deconstruct these. Actually, I can just deconstruct everything in this queue. Except except the wires. We'll leave those. Sip deity mode isn't fun because the AI are bad in the late game, but it's in the late game. Yeah, it really front loads. It really front loads difficulty. I don't mind Sip deity, but it's a very different kind of challenge. It's all about surviving the early game, and then it becomes like, and then you can win. But can you get to the point where you can win fast enough? Which is fun for a challenge, but it's definitely not the same as a fair fight. It's just a different type of challenge. But I do occasionally play Sip deity. Um, most games have a gentle difficulty curve, which results in gentle decline challenge curves to get better at the game. Civ Deity is a rapidly declining difficulty curve with a cratering challenge curve. Yeah, that seems about right. Hi, Emily. Uh, we have not scrapped the 400 deep challenge. Uh, that will still go on at some point. But I wanted to start a new run to explore the new story trait stuff. Like we have one, we have one of them down here, like the Somnium synthesizer, and that stuff would only generate on a new seed. So we're doing a little mini challenge at the moment uh, on a different seed, where we're going to try and do one dupe per planet, and we're also going to try and do the story stuff. And then the plan is to come back to the 400 dupe challenge seed, because there's a lot of stuff on there I haven't done yet. <laughs> PC dupe challenge, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, we're right on the cusp of building the sour gas spoilers in that in that seed, but I wanted to do this first before we go back to that. And people and people also did want us to do the one dupe per planet challenge and see how far we get. At the moment, the challenge is just getting the dupes off the planet. Uh, we're building a rocket platform. We're going to get a carbon dioxide rocket going. There's actually a load of carbon dioxide in this room here with all these puffs. So we'll just need to grab that somehow. We'll probably want to make a liquid lock going over here as well, so we can actually suck up the gas effectively, maybe. Maybe we don't need a liquid lock. A carbon dioxide should just rest in there without any issues. I think we could just dig this over. Obviously, once I do melt this ice, we'll need to seal this up. But... I'm kind of just wondering how many rocket launches it's going to take to melt this ice. I'm just amused by the idea. Maybe we'll grab the rest of the ice and put it down here or something. I don't want it to actually exchange that much heat. So maybe we'll just, we'll just grab it and we'll put it in here. That seems reasonable. But yeah, we want to put the fire pole in, and uh, obviously we'll need to stop pouring water over here for that to be the case. I think we pretty much are done with that, because we can sweep all of this up. Let's sweep all of this water up. We're going to let this water evaporate over time. Then let's sweep this up, and then we can open this up build the fire pole because we're gonna go we're gonna be going up and down a lot and then i can finally <laughs> dismantle this unholy uh solution but yeah this is also an exercise to get me to play a little bit outside my comfort zone because i haven't actually done the spaced out settings yet and i wanted to try them out like properly I've mostly just done classic asteroids up to this point, and um, I wanted to try something different. You're getting extra strength from all that mopping. Yeah. There's a lot of water here, so you're probably going to be at it for a while. You always want more than one person sweeping specifically so they can do this stop the liquid from flowing and then they can actually uh, grab it. Otherwise they're just stuck sweeping up ever smaller amounts of liquid. Actually, you can stop digging this now. That's fine. 
Yeah, I I just realized like I I haven't got the achievement for landing on a planet without a teleporter yet. Like I want to give it a try. I think I I think I mostly enjoy playing classic more, but I want to give this a proper try. And I'm still enjoying it a lot. I'm really enjoying just having like a a super condensed sort of minimal base. Because we're not going to have more than three people, and eventually we're going to move the people out. So it's nice not needing a big base. But yeah, let's uh, let's deconstruct this, and now we can deconstruct this as well. We can't let any more. Uh... You know what I might do? I might actually put in a. A, mechan a manual airlock here. Like, I'll dig this, and we'll put a manual airlock here. Because we're going to get a lot of oxygen in this room. And... I don't want to let all of it out. Like, it it's coming out quite quickly. Like, this will take ages to go away. But I don't want it to ever stop being here. So... Maybe that will help. I don't know. Hi, Robo Jumper. I like the space that star because it doesn't take ages to get to remote geysers and build long pipes. That that can be true. The asteroids are smaller. I mean, I don't think we found the edges of this asteroid yet, but I don't think it's much bigger than this. And I'm not saying I don't like the spaced out features. I haven't really tried them yet. I think my brain works better in the classic mode. But maybe I will like it more once I start doing it. But I need to actually try and do it. But let's build this fire pole. I'm glad, I'm glad that someone showed me that if you hold shift, uh, it will build stuff in a straight line. Let's not build a fire pole there, though. Because before it was super annoying. Yeah, there we go, and then we can deconstruct this as well, and ladder up. And then any more water will just let out this way instead. So we can just ladder up there, but that's not a priority. Yeah, I think it's just the familiarity of it is, uh, really. Right, let's build the manual airlock here. I want to take the ice, and I want to put it down here. Which people will get around to doing at some point. As with many things, learning uh, in the game, learning rocketry and making it run flawlessly is a bit of a hurdle, but then it's loads of fun. Yeah, that's it, really. Because, like, I don't know how to automate rockets yet. I, haven't, I just haven't done that. I don't know how to do the payloads. I haven't done that. So, I want to learn how to do those. And then when I go into uh, future games, I'll have that knowledge. So this seems like a good way to learn that. Right, Ellie, what do you want? Well, you've got ranching. You don't really need any of these. For now. We don't need grilling because we haven't got a lot. We don't need any food at the moment. But out of all of these, it probably would be the most useful to have eventually. Yeah, I'll just give you cooking. That's fine. You get the skill. Yeah, at the moment, let's just get this, uh... Just get this done. I want to get the rocket platform finished. Do we actually have enough cobalt? We do, it's just down there. Yeah, let's hold off the research for now. People just still need to build stuff.
You've still got the eye irritation, you do. You don't, you do. We have got long commutes now. All this polluted oxygen is just really starting to annoy me. <laughs> hmm. I think we just have to put up with it. I think it would take much longer to solve it permanently than to actually uh, just put up with it. We can dig this out. But this is how we're going to get into this big CO2 pit. And this is what we're going to harvest for all the uh, rocket stuff. Uh, although one thing I would say is... Do I want all the puffs to come in here and consume all the polluted oxygen? I'm thinking probably not. So let's make uh, some tiles and seal this off. Just so that the puffs don't uh, escape. I wonder what happens when this all melts. Are the puffs just going to float into space? <laughs> Yeah, it's for my dupes at the moment, yeah. There's so many puffs here. It's like the Puff Fan Club. <laughs> it's crazy. The work generation on these uh, asteroids is pretty interesting. Like, there's this whole sort of metallic biome with, like, just big chunks of gold in it as well. And this one just has a gold volcano in it. There's certainly some stuff here that you don't see on the normal ones. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. It's going to be so annoying. Actually, you should be able to grab that once you've uh, built this. And I think we're just going to put ice in here and have that melt. Eventually, the ice will melt and go in here. I wonder why Swamp Biome has gold. Yeah, it's kind of weird that there's gold in, gold specifically in the swamp biome. I mean, it's gold amalgam, so it's like gold and mercury. You never get any uh, any of the mercury out, though. I mean, mercury is coded into the game, isn't it? I remember seeing it in like debug mode. But I can see why they wouldn't have that in the base game as a metal that's just liquid at room temperature. That it would probably be really useful. It would definitely be useful, uh, just because it's a metal and liquid uh, that's liquid at room temperature. You would you would do stuff like with liquid locks involving that. I think, but outside of that, I don't know what you'd use it. No loners. But yeah, I do want to do a mod at some point. Um, make a mod for this game. That adds... Okay, hold on. You didn't do this in the right order. You need to seal this off so that the puffs don't all escape. There we go. Um, but I want to do a mod at some point that adds a biome to the game that gives you lithium. Because lithium is such a weird metal. It has a really high specific heat capacity and it melts at a really low temperature. And lithium obviously has lots of uses in like batteries, um, fusion, nuclear fusion. That's something that you could add as a mod. That'd be pretty cool. Um, explosives. There's lots of uses for lithium. Yeah, good luck building this. You're actually going to get quite irradiated in space, aren't you? Yeah, it's not too bad. The radiation on this uh, place is quite low. Oh, and they definitely need to add explosives to this game. Like, we discussed this previously, like, you have pressure damage in this game from liquids. You could easily make, like, a, a bomb that's like a tile that when it's activated by an automation signal, it triggers an explosive damage wave and consumes the tile. Like, I feel like that's definitely something that could happen. My internet is, uh, 
not doing super well at the moment. Hopefully it's not lagging out for you guys too much. Hold on. Let me just investigate this. 